Play. Bam! Right on the five minute mark. <laughs> that nice was after when that happens. Yeah, good timing. Then what's going on here? Uh, have there been leaks? Uh, have there's already been confirmations? Uh, has there already been a controversy? Uh, is Jeff Keighley wearing his trainers? What's going uh, on? I mean, here, is he going to be Give wearing a, a suit and trainers? That is the most important question we have to ask ourselves. I hope so. I like his formal wear because it reminds me that a piece of him is gamer, and it happens to be his feet. So I very much approve. Yeah. Yeah, he he rocks the suit and the trainers. He really does. He does. He, he pulls that look off really well. It's really casual. That's nice. It's a nice little yeah. look. Also, hello everyone. How's it going? Hi everyone. I'm Ben. That's Joe. I'm Joe. And yeah. we are reacting to the Summer Games Fest. It's summer. Yay! I say as I look at the dark clouds outside my window and the raindrops uh, on my window. I, it's summer, guys. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it, was, it was just raining like two minutes ago and I had to get the washing in, so... Uh... Yo, I trust that the first thing we talk about is the weather. <laughs> so fucking stereotypically UK right now. Oh, proper stereotypical UK. Are there uh, any hopes and dreams that you've got in this stream besides the uh, aforementioned bet that you've put on Discord? Well, I have a bet already? on Discord that if <laughs> Silk Song doesn't show up here, I'll be downing... Ah, uh, That was saying. That's not spicy enough, for. Uh, that's not spicy enough at all. I feel like it needs to be on the lines of, oh, Silk Song are, are going to release it or give you that a release date. That I know, it, 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 it wasn't the best. That gives you a bit of advantage because there's a lot of evidence online that points to it being shown. Apparently. Oh, yeah, I totally think it's going to be here. I think that's such a safe bet. Yeah. <laughs> you should have bet that it was Shadow Drop or something, to be oh honest. Oh, my God, no, but if it does Shadow Drop, though, I'm going to flip out. If it does, I'm pressing the Silk Song button and my entire schedule is going to be ruined because oh, holy man. shit. <laughs> um, other things are, I would like to see there's rumours of like a Crash Bandicoot game I've heard about that they're gonna make another Crash game I haven't even beaten Crash 4 oh I did I mean I beat it I didn't 100% it it's a fun game just don't 100% it just play it to the end but don't 100% <laughs> play it to the it. end yeah. yeah I heard the don't, last levels are horrible for... from what I've heard no, but they're good in single player they're just not like they're, they're there's, good a, in, like, there's a multiplayer like, what? No, I mean, I mean, they're good in like the sense of going through oh. it once, you know. Don't yeah. do it again for the hundred percent. You said single player, so I was like, "What the? Oh fuck? yeah, I'm, my words are wrong there." Why but are we yeah, playing that shit I, here? It's a bit screen. Uh, I said multiplayer, but yeah, this Crash game's rumored to be a multiplayer Crash game, which is why uh, I see it. Be, like in the vein of Crash Bash, maybe. That's bullshit. Just make Crash Bash. I want Crash Bash. Crash Bash is a fucking fantastic party game. I don't care what anyone says. I mean, Crate Wars were show. the best. Uh, I'm telling you what. The uh, polar bear was... charging, maybe not so much. And maybe not the crystal changes, which are complete bullshit. But everything else was awesome about it. Yeah, uh, I also heard rumours of... Uh, I don't know if it's true or not. We might see God of War here. Oh, yeah. Uh, it might be delayed. I heard it might be delayed. That might show more of that Star Wars game that's made by... <sighs> My Quantic Dream. Um, oh my god, that one. Oh Modern my Warfare god. 2 has I been shown. I keep forgetting that game exists. Yeah, me too. <laughs> because I haven't seen the shower scene yet. <laughs> that is why me, I don't yeah. believe that. Me, that because game. my brain just automatically chooses to close it off because <laughs> ew, Quantic Dream and ew, fucking David Cage. I hope he's not involved in the project in any shape or form. Oh, man. Um, the other Star is. Wars game, though, looks good. The the sequel to uh, Fallen Order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that could maybe potentially show gameplay. We might see some gameplay yeah. of Sonic as well. They might show gameplay of stuff that we've already seen that's been teased. Possibly, I don't know if they'll show more stuff or elaborate for more stuff that we saw from State of Play or not. Possibly. Yeah, I don't know. I don't Who know. Knows? Don't know. Might I don't know if Nintendo's remakes. gonna. Nintendo might have a surprise here or not. I have no idea. Mm hmm. But I reckon Nintendo probably would hold off until their Nintendo Direct, which is probably next week. Will Naughty Dog make a poor announcement? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, do you reckon? I don't know. It's, it's rumoured as well, isn't it? I've heard. I've heard stuff. I've heard <sighs> fangs. Yeah. I've you heard say. that, that I, do I think it's the most unnecessary remake in the world. I refuse to believe until I see footage of said thing, but we're going to yeah, start it, in 10 seconds, so let's go. Yeah, all right, let's get big screen. I'm betting, uh, hmm, blue trainers. Blue trainers, Maybe okay. Con Converse, possibly. Maybe all Converse. Right. 
Converse. So this is the new E3, correct? Kind of. Kind it's of. It's basically like it's easing its way into yeah, it's easing its way into the new E3 sort of. Yeah. Will we see Amazon adverts over and over again? Yes. Oh my god. And here we go. Black hey, Damn everybody. it. I'm Jeff Keely and Don't this train is Summer Game Pass. Yeah, but another eye color. No, the the what's next yeah. in the wide wide world of okay, video games? We are live here in Los Angeles. He's got like a Hi, Jeff. How's it going? Home. We're watching inside an IMAX How's theater. It going, Jeff? Welcome to our showcase event. Over the next few hours, we'll give you updates on the games you love. Be joined by special developer guests, and yes, have a few surprises. Oh, we have a rock is in this show, right? Now, what I All right, love yeah. about this show <laughs> is that it's a true cross-industry showcase. Whether you play on Xbox, PC, PlayStation, Switch, or mobile, we'll Aww. have games for you. It doesn't matter your platform of choice. He said Switch. We're all here to come together as one community. Yeah, it's all here, right? It's just video games in general. Look at this console loving right games. here. Yeah. This is the biggest franchise. The medium of video here, games, like not the console wars. Get, get that shit out of here. I've been there show half hours worth of mobile games. We'll make room oh for my small God. independent developers who we think deserve the spotlight too. <gasps> If we do this Hello. right, that could we'll very well mean team indie team developers. <laughs> now let's not get our hopes up. Don't, don't apply the car makeup just it. yet. You're not gonna get everything today. See, even Jeff's like, ah, temper stuff. your hopes and dreams, so ladies and gents. Get started. Okay. Over Fine. 30 years ago, Capcom oh, Street Fighter 6. Right in. In oh, they're showing more. They've shown loads of Street Fighter 6. Japanese fighting game series has Maybe they'll show footage of the new file. Street Fighter 6 is coming in 2023. And right now, we're excited to officially confirm a character coming to the game. Oh, and the but it's already been leaked. Is it divorced Enjoy. Ken? What? Has it already leaked? Does Ken throw child support papers at people this time? Oh, it's uh. You oh, Guile. You. Oh, Guile. Yeah. yeah. Let's get this mission started. Oh goal. my god, look, look at Oh my hair. god, look at him! Die, he, he looks kind of same but different. Like, they look pretty know. freaky in the, um, what is it, the RE engine they're using for Street Fighter 6? Yeah, they are using the RE engine. Yeah, yeah. It, it works well, but it also kind of freaky at the same time. Like, look at those, look at the fucking arms on this man. <laughs> on both I don't of them. I remember Guile having an American tattoo on his arm. Oh, I'm pretty sure he did. Oh. He's doing the fast kicks. I do like that color though. Yeah, like, everyone complains that the special effects are too much, but literally the more you play it, the more you won't even notice them anymore. That's literally like every single game. I don't think they're too much. I think it adds flash a lot of personality. Kick. Oh shit, that's a really cool super actually. <laughs> nice. Double flash <laughs> kick. I'm just on another level. <laughs> <laughs> what a cool guy. All right, cool. So Gaul's there. So this isn't revealing characters. This is showing footage of the leaked character sheet. Oh, That's how we're doing it. Capcom actually took that really well, but I feel kind of bad for them as well that I got leaked. Oh, that is sad. That it's like years worth for, of like character right. reviews. Next, it's time for a brand new game announcement here at Summer Game Fest. They could swerve from it. Check though. this out. Oh, brand new game announcement. Huh? 20th Century Fox. Sergeant Leo Alvarez of the CM Leth Recon Squad. Our mission was to enter the Tantalus base, locate the ComSat relay, and bring it back online. We found the relay, but there was a problem. Get that door closed now, Private. Back in the Close that, Close that gate. Nothing gets in here. Is Ready this Ghost naked. Recon? No. Sorry, I saw the green eyes and I was like. The. the I don't know. It's some kind of gun shooting McPow Pow game. Yeah. Some alien horror thing. It looks like a movie license game. Oh, yeah, is it alien? What we found oh, I think it's alien. A new kind of evil. I don't know, they were on a spaceship. First. What the? This wasn't human. 
No one ever mind. You were absolutely completely fucking right. Jesus Christ. She's alien, right? Straight yeah. up xenomorph. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not an alien game. Shit. Would it be as good as isolation? <laughs> you were about to say the exact same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Looks like there's a bunch of them this I, time, I heard so... That, that's like a really scary horror game. Isolation like. is fucking horrifying. The AI on the Xenomorph is absolutely absurd. I've seen clips of it. I've never played it myself, played it to completion, yeah. and it was, it was an experience, let me tell you. I don't know what I saw in there. So this is going to be an action-oriented Aliens game. Maybe, yeah. I want that's not shit, like, oh, Colonial Marines. Right. He's dead. He's dead. Now everyone's dead. Yeah, you're dead as well. And someone needs to know. Wait, what? That guy looks like he's controlling them almost. Aliens. Oh, it's just called Aliens? Dark oh, Descent. Dark. Yeah, brand new Aliens game. Nice. And they're trying gameplay. Oh, it's oh, yeah. It's, it's, they're, they're, they're trying to correct to Chloe Marines. That looks like a very, 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 very reminiscent action game. Yeah. Okay. All right. That was Aliens: Dark Descent, and it's coming in 2023. Good Aliens action game. All right. See what they Next, can do. Two years ago at the Game Awards, we revealed the Callisto Protocol. From the creative forces behind the Dead Space franchise. Oh, Today, yeah. I am thrilled to get to show you the first raw gameplay along the way. All right, cool. Schofield. Yeah, the I, I thought they'd show quote, unquote, elaborate Schofield more stuff that was revealed at State of Play. A brand new trailer with a little more gore. <laughs> cool. I seriously might pick up Dead Space and play it in my own time or something. <clears throat> Yeah, so this was like a cancel, originally meant to be a Dead Space game, but got transformed into this. Yeah. Take a look outside. Did you know that they call Callisto the Dead Moon? Huh. Dead. Just like you would have been if I had. How many times do you think they say dead in this trailer? How many times can they say Callisto? So One. Whatever you're holding on to right there. That's your old life. You gotta let that go. Because your new life. Oh, nice. Killer robots. In my hands. I'm just trying to give you a chance. At rebirth. Oh. Ooh, them graphics. Yeah. <laughs> oh. The close up shot there. Oh, that is freaky. Looks good though. Looks like it would definitely be terrifying. Mm -hmm. So we're starting off with all the, uh, the the science fictiony sort of uh, yeah. shooters right now. Gives me chills every time. Gives me conniptions. <laughs> cool. Well, you know, it's been a while since I played a third-person shooter. Yeah. You know, that seems to be about 30% of these presentations, not gonna lie. And most AAA games in general. Yeah, most AAA games are for third-person. That's At the thing. At one point, we used, to, we used to have, like, just constant first-person. Oh, now it's fuck. Oh, that's gnarly. Mate. All right. Is that a death scene? That's definitely a death. I'm glad we're not holding back on the violent, like, game overs. Raw, that was. Oh. Like, what are you trying to hide in this game? Just don't, don't hold back. You don't need to. Yeah. It's very what hard for one of these games well. to stand out because there's just so many of them now. Yeah. That's right. We know what you wanted to see. And joining <laughs> me now, Glenn Schofield, <laughs> the this death. Glenn. Read my uh, mind. First of all, congratulations. This game looks absolutely incredible. And I gotta say, the fact that you have oh, built the trainer this buddies. team, this studio, new IP, oh, yeah. shipping this December, Look, all you in trainers COVID, too. blows me away. So I also wear gamer shoes. Yeah, thanks, man. Uh, my gamer thanks shoes on my slippers. Us. I really do appreciate it, Jack. Nice. Um, and you know, for a second, just give me a second. You know, I want to thank you uh, for all you've done for the game industry uh, all these years. Aww. Man. I think I've known you like 16, 17 years now. And... Uh, 
Um, you've been in And you've never once been on his uh, show. You've amplified <laughs> new games, new studios. <laughs> and uh, I, I just wanted to thank you. I really do. Oh, that's really it. nice. Thank you. It's not about me. It's about you guys. Yeah, I, I know. I, but I appreciate that. Thank you so much. And yeah, it's so Shout fun out to do Jeff, these shows. Nice and to show this game. So people saw the trailer. But what I'm so excited today is that you just brought a raw gameplay sequence. This game is in development. And people are going to be blown away, I think, when they see it. But tell us a bit about what are we going to see today? Yeah, we got a couple minutes of, uh, like you said, like raw gameplay. Um, what do you think the chat's saying the right now at the moment? Uh, Silk Song. Silk Song! One is a power station. Silk Song! Silk Song! No, I'm joking. Yeah. Uh, Where's I'm not, I'm not Silk Song? A bunch of fucking clown emojis. Some, uh, just Probably. About everything Probably. We showcasing Ugh. A new, uh, weapon yeah, I don't even want to peek in there. It's, uh, like oh, it's not, it sounds like a fucking train wreck. And it shoves them into giant fans. It rips them apart. It's great. And, uh, <laughs> nice. And then check out the... Uh, the nice ending. Yeah, it's definitely got that Dead where Space where we, vibe uh, to it. You know, we usually will kill our main character, Jacob, and in a very unique way. Jacob is also <laughs> as basic of a name as Just Isaac, a so... I, I want to thank yeah. the team, man. Like you said, through COVID, through everything else, the dedication, the hard work. Uh, you guys are amazing. Thank you very much. Uh, well, Glenn, I got to say, again, you know, what you guys are shipping this year, this looks like a world-class... You got the thank you for many years out of the way. Uh, now show us the gameplay the as I froth in the mouth. This year. Yes. Yeah. Stop That's talking. Yeah. yeah. I'm Let's joking, by the way. Here it is, the first gameplay. That's a very good impression. Gameplay. Hey. Where's my Silk Song? Where's Silk Song? Da, da, da. Oh, yeah, shit, though. Cool. The actual gameplay. All right. Yeah, look at this dead space. Straight up. Straight. Do you know what? Even the um, the health. I'm guessing for, that thing on his yeah, neck. Yeah, but neon thing's probably is his like health bar. One hundred percent his health bar, right? Yeah, I reckon so. They've even, they've even got the little holograms of like things you see in the past. That was also a dead space thing. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. That's cool. I'm glad the Dead Space. Uh, I'm glad the they found a way around team. it. Yeah, they they make they can still make what they want to yeah, make. Yeah, we'll we'll just make Dead Space. We can't but make dead space, dead space, but we'll make Dead Space. We're not call it Dead Space. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, the Kinesis is back. And you got to shoot off limbs, I assume. They were so good at telegraphically letting yeah, you know how he's... much, like, without, like, using, you know, a HUD, because their HUD is the character. Yeah, that's pretty that cool. That was something I always found really cool about, like, seeing their It is nice. Too. Also, he's going for the limbs, so chopping off limbs is 100% gonna be, uh, like, the way to kill these guys, just like Necromorphs. Oh, yeah. Exactly like Necromorphs. Yeah. Oh, it's still moving. Yeah, ragdolls. <laughs> and the stomp is even there! <laughs> I love that he stomps him multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make sure. It just needs the animalistic screams to accompany it. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's locked. Of course. Cuba chat saying, I wish that was me. <laughs> Watch degenerates. Whoa, fully decked out. Nice, armor now. and the armor's there as well. What's next, jet boots? Oh yeah, because there was gravity stuff in this place. Yeah. You go outside and throw about and shit. Oh, Gross. poison. I love this. Like, Nomura is just slowly nodding his head. Like, yeah, <laughs> that's how you get around it. Yes. <laughs> just make the game. Just make it, but don't call it the thing. They can't stop you if you no, need something different. No, it actually does look quite good, though. Oh my oh, god. Oh! Oh, the fact oh. that was so realistic looking to it. Yeah, these realistic graphics are really putting, like, like more more combat was bad I enough, especially have... 11. But right, now on. they're yeah. going really high with the life, like, the graphics. It just makes the devs all the more gruesome. Infinity Ward is once again returning to its roots oh, for man. a modern day action game. And today we're about to show you the world premiere of its gameplay with a level playthrough. Oh shit, Tell us son. More, let's head to the port of Long Beach to check in with Johanna Ferris, the head of Call oh, of Duty. Oh man, COD is still going. Yeah, they said they're going to show Modern Warfare 2. Yeah. But is I, it I, my I Modern, Modern Warfare, Warfare 2? Warfare 2 came out years ago. It did, it came out on Modern PS3 loads, loads, loads and loads of years ago. Is this like a remake then, or is this like an actual a new, new of Call of Duty like, with the launch game of just called Modern, Modern Warfare, Warfare 2? 2. We are back, we are bigger, and we are bringing the entire team. Price, 
gas. So, Alejandro. I and have of no course, idea. Ghost. We needed <laughs> oh, a yeah. stage big enough to debut Call of Ghost Duty. Ghost was who was the character way. who missed up every 17-year-old's boxes World back in the day. Huh. Oil rigs, cargo ships, and staggering... You know he died like a bitch in Modern Warfare 2. Were, Warfare you, were you ever, like, into the whole Call of Duty thing? I had a phase. But yeah. funny enough, Modern Warfare 2 was the actual game that I played with, like, school friends for, like, half Aww. a year for a little bit online. And I was that yeah, arsehole man. who ran around with a knife akimbo. Like, and everyone know, hated cool. me. Because you could just... There were, there were perks that could make you ninja in online. To, to, yeah. the point, to the point where you didn't even need to use a gun to get a nuke. And nukes were yeah. fucking hilarious. Honestly, like, back then, I did, we didn't even think about it much. But the concept of a nuke just ending the round is fucking hilarious to me now. Because <laughs> that that would end everything. It just ends the round. That's so yeah. fucking fired to me. Like in, like sort of like modern sort of like concepts yeah. now. Like and just thinking yeah. about it now just makes me laugh a lot. Yeah. Sometimes you sometimes you need dumb stupid shit like that. That's what that's what I mean, right? Like I feel like sometimes <laughs> these absolutely shooters... fucking unfair game breaker, but really yeah. hilarious to think about now. Oh dear. Oh yeah, my Call of Duty days have long ended, man. Oh, mine too. Like, I, I, I barely dabbled in it. Like, it was like yeah. a passing interest. It wasn't like something I, I stuck with. But like, yeah. they, I just think like it's amazing how this series is like still going after how long. Hmm. I heard the campaigns just... are getting really good for Call of Duty, but yeah, it's just not my kind of thing, I'm afraid. Yeah. It's just. Yeah. My my first my fir Guns. first personing <laughs> goes as far as like Bioshock. If they brought back another Bioshock, though, I'd be all over that. I wonder. They are making a new Bioshock, actually. I think. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely the Call of Duty formula. Yeah. Run around shooting people with a gun with a bunch of our dudes. <laughs> oh, that was a good sound effect. I gotta find my humor in this somewhere. Yeah. Can't just be good. laughing about the tactical nuke. <laughs> it ends. It, this just ends the, the presentation with the giant nuke. <laughs> Plus 25. Jeff Keighley shows off his amazing kill cam. We're moving to the main deck. What's your status? Boarding the ship with Shadow 3 now. Shoot me in the ass. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. You got shot anyway. This is so scripted, though. Like when you actually play this game, this is not how you're gonna play this game. I mean, they probably practice it so many times just to make it look as cinematic as possible when they present it. As possible, it. yeah. But like when you're really playing it, you're just gonna be like running in, going bang, 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 bang. Honestly, it's better than just doing it live because there's been so many instances, especially at E3, where like people try and play their games live, and sometimes yeah. it doesn't present itself in the best way. Sometimes. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I can think of a few here and there. But I appreciate that they're actually showing gameplay rather than just like a, a, like a CG or stuff. Yeah. Like the fact that they're showing gameplay and not CGs is nice. I always take gameplay over just seeing a cool concept idea <laughs> not being realized for another five years. Yeah! Honestly, do you know what this is making me want to play more than, more than anything? What? Fear. Oh yeah, because yeah. it's this, but it's way more absurd. Like yeah, you, you yeah. shoot, you shoot a person with a shotgun, and they just fucking atomize. They disappear. Yeah. <laughs> like I like just dumb, unrealistic shit like that, where it's like yeah, grounded. It's but cool it's as well. I like it when I mean, it's super video gamey. Yeah, it feels a cool concept. It's just kind of sad that I never really like got bigger. The only thing is that I have to go over my fear of children. Which yeah. Fear absolutely preys on me for, so yeah. Fear was like part Call of Duty, part horror. Pretty much. It was in sections almost. It was really yeah. weird, it was really blend. Like, it wasn't at the same time. It no. was always like a section where you shoot dudes into paste, and then uh, a and then time the when, when, when spooky ghosts go uh, sniffs yeah. your ear. Where are the controls? He's gonna get shot in there. Right? Oh. Ship. Actual, we got a problem. This is that sucks. 
See, if this was me making the game, I would have locked him in there, and then that would have turned into like a robot or a mech or something. Huh. Just turns into Titanfall or some shit. Sounds like some Akira shit going on there. Oh no, if it was, if it was Akira, then uh, that guy on the speedboat would literally mutate into a giant mass uh, of meat. And then yeah. turn into an atomized bomb that would blow up the entire level and then the game would end. I love how we're chatting over this guy talking. <laughs> I've like, seen it so oh, Do you understand I've, what you're honestly, about to do? Honestly, it's, it's not my jam anymore and I've seen it. It's, it's gone for so long now I'm just talking about my shit. Yeah, I know. I feel you, man. I feel it's you, gone man. shooty McPower Power game number three. Yeah. So I hope they're just getting this over and done with. Yeah. I wonder. Like, it looks I wonder very it pretty. It looks looks fun to shoot people. You know, it's 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 your standard uh, modern warfare stuff. There's nothing stuff. different about it. Yeah. Like it just. Oh, cool. You're on a bow. I mean, it's kind of cool that the environment is kind of going down like that. But I mean, I seen I seen this. You know, you've seen this. It's the same call to duty. It's the same call of duty. Yeah. War never changes, man. Yeah. <laughs> same, different, different call, same duty. There we go. Yeah. How does that sound? Yeah. He's lucky he's a protagonist. Oh god, are they doing that thing where I think COD's always done that, where you get shot a couple of times and then you regenerate yeah. health? Yeah. Yeah. I remember, I remember a little first-person series called Resistance. Remember Resistance? Yeah. Made by Insomniac, aliens and yeah. shit. Oh, yeah. Now that game's good because it's got a health system. It does regenerate, yeah. but it only lets you do it to a certain amount. Like you've got blips, and there yeah. are health kits uh, about. And uh, it was pretty fun being pinned down by a bunch of alien fuckers with their little like alien rifles. You got one blip of health, and you're like, oh god, oh shit, oh fuck. Whereas in yeah. COD, you just like you get your breath back. Okay, now go out and kill them. Well, yes, it's like in, 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 in first person shooter games when you actually get health where they're like pickups and shit and they're limited, it always felt all the more tense to me if it was done right. Because I remember yeah. when Resistance 1 had that, and then 2 yeah. actually went Call of Duty, where it became yeah. like this, and I was like, this is so much more easier. Unless you put it on like the hardest difficulty or some shit. Whereas, I mean, I went back to it in 3 and I was like, yeah, this is much better. Yeah, it feels more tense, it feels like I gotta think more, I can't just blindly shoot my weapons. Is it weird that that when when health regenerates in these kind of like super realistic games, it takes me out of it? Oh yeah, it's a very video gamey thing. Like, but like I know they're trying to hit realism, right? So I don't yeah. think health should regenerate. When like, why the fuck would you stand so close to that door with an explosion that big? <laughs> <laughs> I'd be in the ocean if I was that guy. Like, fuck this shit. I'm gonna yeah. swim and get my arms blown off. That's an open beta. Oh, there you go, quad fans. Enjoy. Enjoy. That's what we're talking about, and joining us now. That wasn't what we were talking Beach, about. <laughs> for half nah, of we weren't nice talking about that at all. <laughs> we're talking about other FPS games, <laughs> surprisingly <laughs> yeah. enough. It's almost an insult, so really. Uh, uh, yeah, the Call of Duty days are over for me. Yeah. It's very uh, like, yeah, I feel you, man. Like there are those uh, who like it a lot, and it's like it's very vanilla shooty game, man. And if you like that, then that's cool. You know, you like that. It's like it's like you've been in the series for a long time. That's cool. If that's your jam, that's your jam. But it's very much for like it's very much for like you know. Dude, bro, today, but, console uh, yeah. gamers, like, rrr, 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 hey man, you wanna like get a oh, brewski really going online like and that stereotype? Shoot, shoot some our, kids uh, in online. Uh, uh, I really, really don't uh, like uh, that stereotype um, of dude, bro, gamers. That's what it is, though. It's totally I know it is, but it's like, like remember when the Xbox used to be the legitimate dude, bro console? Oh yeah, I remember that. Gears of War, Halo, Call of Duty, really nothing but guys. guns. And then you had Fable just out room. in the corner. I mean, Fable just was just there, yeah. <laughs> um, as far as the, levels the concerned, little lost um, gem you know, this, RPG I, I in the shadow to, doing the same thing. You know, this was yeah. <laughs> that wasn't the dude bro RPG, of the, the so it didn't this. survive. Oh, oh no, it got as far as... Really, it got, uh, uh, Fable 3 came out, didn't it? Yeah. It took a while, but it did. Animations and the awesome sound design, and of course our new water tech, which is actually pushing the boat in different directions. 
works really. It's creating no. a what what makes a doober a doober and then? I don't know. <laughs> Someone who works on Call of Duty. Someone who works on Call of Duty. Do you know, who works on Call of Duty. Do you know what? <laughs> you might be right. Gameplay. I don't know. Um, so again, nah. I'm, I'm very excited. Just can't wait that I'm so excited that we get to show it off today. And that's just a hint of where. But bring back all the perks. Bring back all the dumb perks from Modern Warfare 2, so I could just ninja my way through around. So excited that it's back this year, but you got. That shit was so stupid. I wasn't surprised people were pissed off of me with the shotguns and the snipers. I just go. Here. We're just so excited for October 28th. It's such a <laughs> I love big doing that. Everyone's like, I just go. Change, what we're a <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> I love doing that shit. You're going to see incredible rendering, incredible graphics. All the They're just going on the about the graphics, itself. but not the gameplay. You guys yeah. really need to improve your gameplay over your graphics. Course, well, they showed the gameplay, so I never talking about the other stuff. The, the yeah. supplementary yeah. lore that some people um, might care be, about when it comes to Call of Duty experience of Warzone for current existing um, players as well so we're going to sort of feed the entire community there but what is this Call of Duty number like 38 um, and again, uh, I think the uh, Call of Duty Eternal like oh that's an insult to Doom I shouldn't have called um, it that oh mate now Doom well, is a fucking good uh, go. first person shooter we're, we're oh yeah Doom's as, great you know, I mean, so fucking it's just a big god there's going to be a lot more to come and when are Bethesda going to release him from the coffin um, again before we, we leave we got to ask a little bit about Warzone is it I, is ID soft ID soft Soft, yeah, but Bethesda are the publishers. Uh, yeah, and we're seeing that from the community. Well, I imagine Microsoft will, uh, some things, when um, they some chatter about have maybe hold of Bethesda and completely, elements, they'll probably we make them make the yeah. It's going to be hard about Mick Gordon. It's going to be very hard about Mick Gordon. So oh, yeah, Mick Gordon's not doing the music anymore, is he? That's insane that, like, uh, the music uh, of, of Doom 2016 Eternal had like said, such an identity of its music alone, of its composer really? alone. Yeah, actually, like, the fact that it actually feels impossibly hard to replicate that without Mick Gordon is insane. Because, I mean, the music was pretty good in the DLCs. Um, all right, well, we've well, got a big order music. Game Fest still to yeah. go, and That's now what I'm saying. Announce, a classic PC gaming franchise is coming back with a sequel over 30 years after its first release. I what? loved this game when I was growing up, so is I'm honored quite? to share this very first look. <laughs> Speaking of ID software, is it Quake? <laughs> yeah. That would be that would be such a the, the other one. The other one. Yeah. So years later. Oh no! It's uh. What oh. the fuck? It's is it Sh Shadow? Oh, I can't remember the name of it. It's I I know what this is, but I don't remember the name. Unless it's not that game. I don't know what it is. Actually, I don't know what it is. The fight. It's not called the fight. That's not called continues either. <laughs> the fight continues. What is it? I actually don't know what this is. Xbox. Flashback! Oh, that's really old. Oh. I've heard Man. things, but I've never actually played Flashback. Yeah, Flashback's really... I've never played Flashback, but it's really old. Actually, you can get that on Switch. All right, let's turn back huh. time. Back in 2017, we announced... Huh, they're making a sequel. The that must be... Pretty Almost five years blowing. later, I am so excited that the team at the Astronauts in Poland has put together an in-depth look at the gameplay of this dark fantasy first-person shooter, which will enter early access soon. I am so excited. When I think to play dark fantasy first-person shooter, too. I unfortunately think of mods for Dark Souls. <laughs> dark Souls first-person shooter. Oh. <laughs> look at this! This is Dark Souls. Look at this concept for it. Yeah. I, I kind of dig the concept alone, not gonna lie. Yeah, medieval, medieval first person shooter. But you've got a gun. <laughs> oh shit, demons. See, I'm already interested in this game. Because like, <laughs> it, it looks... Oh my god, it looks... It looks really fun actually. Like, already I'm interested in this. Dude, just this concept way, al this just concept way unique. alone, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's this looks like, unique. Absurd, dumb concepts like this will always get a thumbs up from me. This looks actually unique. What? Was the bell? Oh. Oh, imaginary bell, I see. This really does look a bit like. It's first person Dark Souls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I hate to say it. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does look like first person Dark Souls. 
It looks pretty That's fun. That's not a bad thing, man. That could be a good. That could be really fun. Yeah, this is more like it. May have got my attention. Oh, there's a lot of enemy variety. <laughs> Look at that skull enemy. Oh shit. Crossbows. That. Just the idea of Call of Duty guy going into Banana Dark Souls just makes me laugh as a concept, and I'm already be like, fire. yeah, sure. <laughs> Let's go with that. I'm up for that. Witch fire. Okay. Oh, it's in early access now. Oh, shit. Interesting. <laughs> oh, you know what? That Usually when games enter early okay, access, that up, means that they really do want them to be really good games. Oh, man. Europe, starring some very familiar names. Enjoy this world premiere new game announcement. Oh, okay. new game announcement from Europe. Full and leaf. Medlog, 29. Today, um... No Unreal Engine game. I can't believe what I saw. Everything's on Unreal Engine nowadays. Solace. Everything okay in there? Looks like another alien game. I was gonna say it, another Dead Space game. <laughs> no, it's probably the Calyptar Project. Mate, we're really having a theme right now, aren't we, with alien games? Is it an alien game? I don't know. I don't think it is, no. I don't know what this is. Oh, Microwave man. hallway. Something is going on here. And I need to find out what it is. Oh, it's a mystery game. Saw this. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a mystery game. That's something brand new, and look who it is. I thought that was Troy fucking Troy Roger Baker. Jesus, Guys, honestly, he's uh, in so much so now. So I just recognise his voice right off the bat. Together. What a cool it's for Storyteller uh, himself. Uh, oh uh, man. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, who are your I didn't mean to bring it up. <laughs> well, uh, I Have you not forgiven him? Oh, uh, honestly, yeah, I've just chosen to forget more than anything. Yeah. I'm all neutral on it. It's the epicenter yeah. of this mystery that we'll discover and uncover as we go. He tells the good game. stories, course, man. Oh my god. At times in opposition with <laughs> Roger's character. The battle we've been waiting to see. <laughs> you bloody <laughs> idiot. Yet. Oh man, we can't wait to Don't show you get involved in that shit, Jeff, Troy Baker. Awesome, Come on. Yeah, it's so great to be here. Nice. Thanks, man. Whatever. It's, it's anyway, so he's another starring yet another I mean, big like giant AAA game, AAA game by the looks of things. One of the first major ones for a while, and I play a character by the name of Jack Leary. He's a maintenance engineer on a remote Martian mining post. Oh, it's, it's an alien sure game. The equipment breaks down while it's on their graveyard shift. The graveyard shift meaning Mars and Earth are really far Can we have a game that doesn't involve a gun, please? So help is not a or like a space follow. station, or uh, like, you know, ask, I, I think a lot of that's hyper realistic. Like we're, we're, we're really it's in that team, space right? period uh, right now, where we're just making space Europe games. Uh, we never left, left the gun period production for video values. games. I'm curious, like, how did you guys get attached to this? Tell us a bit about the background. I, I will say that 2020 to me was the most impactful year for games. It was the first, I mean, obviously we had this unprecedented event with the pandemic, and that forced the way that we looked at it. Everything as a society, but also the way. Mate, what if he shows an empty? Oh my god, he voices for Joker in that one game. He said society. That's crazy. Playing field between like the AAA studios and the indie studios of the AAA studios, and so just like anybody else, we got. God, I hope Troy didn't just whip out join my NFTs now. Shots off. Considered being a part of this game, and he walked me through a very brief description of what the experience was going to be like. Yeah, yeah. At the very beginning, he said. It's, we want this to feel, it's a, it's a tight thriller. We want it to feel like Dead Space meets... Uh, nah. Dead Space. And I was like, really? Yeah, I'm into that, absolutely. You want it to feel like, like Dead Space? Uh, <laughs> Could have fooled me. Studio, Something else as well, they said, but I couldn't course, hear it. Yeah. Yeah. My dogs are barking. Best, Sorry if you hear my dogs on the, on the, the stream. I'm sure it wasn't important. Your dogs are more important. I know, I love to work. They're going crazy. The challenges and all the new innovations that this media. We don't like all the gunfire that's been shown in this summer game fest so far. I think it's gonna. Yeah, I guess oh, I've seen some of the behind the scenes and the performance capture. <laughs> Jesus! Live. I mean, this is. I can hear them on the other side. 
I thought that they were just talking about your dogs. Yeah, <laughs> That's God. I can't so shut them up. Let the oh my God. We'll be showing you more later on. But, That's right. It's uh, giving us stuff to talk about. Be exploring Jesus Christ, shut up! <laughs> tight thriller. So you're moving very fast paced through this no! world. There'll be multiple oh. locations, multiple ways Are they here? to traverse, which we're They're just really loud. I don't know if they're going to come out on the thing. Definitely. I heard them. They're definitely going to. God. That's all right. It's more interesting than this. It's fine. That's for sure. <laughs> I gotta tell one quick story, yeah. if I can. Um, there was one of our. He said a moments. story. Everyone, shut up. Um, there <laughs> Everyone is a lot pay of attention. Troy's telling the story. Was, uh, <laughs> the, the forefront of this, and to speak to the performance capture <laughs> aspect, we brought in an incredible. I gotta give him a shout out uh, to Nathaniel, our stunt Aww. coordinator, who walked us through and really approached this in a completely different way than anything I've ever done before. And he says, "I want to know the story of this fight." And Mate, so he still take us through every single time Troy Baker says story. He goes, "Give me one hour, and we'll come back to you with." the story of this fight. He tried this ten times funnier. And he walked us through this incredible <laughs> fight. And I was, I, about halfway out, uh, halfway through it, I started tuning him out. And I was like, hey, man, I just want to let you know I've got no ego about this, but I can do a lot of things, but I, I can't do this. And he grabbed me by my shoulders and he says, oh, you can. You will. <laughs> it's going to be glorious. And we did. And we it's did. It's like a dance. There was a lot of trust, and it worked out. Yeah, I mean, we're big, excited. Big about stunts. It. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, a really this good is story. so cool to see. Is it an independent studio doing this? Teaming up with you guys. Can't wait to see more. Troy, Roger, thanks for joining he us. He really here. tells those stories. Amazing. All right, appreciate it very much, guys. All right, well, next up, keeping up with the space theme, <laughs> it's time to world premiere PFP. a very exciting new God. game, which will feature a musical score by industry legend Mick Gordon. This one is oh, going to grab fuck. you, and we are so honored to oh. debut. Oh. Speaking of Mick Gordon. <laughs> oh, what's the game? What game is he working on? It's going to be fucking have a border soundtrack, whoever it is. Is it space? Is that a fucking fish? What? It's space. Of course it's, it's space. Something. I want it to be space. Space? Space? It's a horror game, for sure. Oh! Oh, what? <laughs> you know, this reminds me of a little bit. Soma. That Soma. Had that like, stacky sort of effects when creepy shit got near you. Oh, is that a video recorder? No, nah, it's not. Oh, I thought it was. It's a gun. Futuristic. Video no, recorder. Ben, it's a video game, so it's a gun. Oh god, look at that. Oh shit, it kind of is a video recorder. Kind of. <laughs> it's a video recorder. But can it fire bullets? Yeah, can it fire? Oh god. Oh. Whoa, that's a fucking terrifying robot. Not gonna that's lie. That's a cool enemy design. <laughs> yeah, Jesus Christ. Routine. <laughs> Okay. That's, that sounds That's interesting. That's pretty interesting. Okay. Okay. That's huh. kind of cool. Doesn't this is kind that of look interesting. great? That was routine coming to Xbox and PC. It was first announced a decade ago and is now what? officially Xbox back. And PC? I can't wait to see it. It was renounced a now decade ago. Now it's time to check in with a Why very don't special this? guest who's I don't been in his that fair game. share of video games, including most recently Fortnite as the foundation. Oh, God. Here we Dwayne go. Dwayne Johnson, welcome to Summer Game Fest. Goofy shit. How are you? Oh, I'm ready. Up, there everybody? he is. Oh. <laughs> What's that smell? He's making a new meme right now. Why is he not making a new meme? Around the world and everybody inside the epic IMAX theaters. Dwayne Johnson here coming at you. Oh yeah, I forgot this is being shown on IMAX theaters. Yeah. Very hot and sweaty and smelly. Ah, powered by, of course. Zoa Energy, the Fuck number one me. fastest growing energy drink. You got fit in the avatar. <laughs> you guys know me uh, by a lot of nicknames. <laughs> I love his place plugging a fucking Lock, energy drink away he does this. That is hilarious. Uh, handsome, sexiest man alive. Uh, big drink energy. <laughs> <laughs> always room for a cheesy joke. There's always room for the extra large cheese pizza. Especially when There's I'm always room for a plug, I'm man. Uh, you guys Gotta also respect know the plug in. He did the eyebrow plug the too. Yeah. The advertisement eyebrow is. That happened. You know me as the foundation. And I got to tell you guys, uh, number one, thank you so much for the crazy response of me becoming the foundation. But also, I got to say that, you know, I've had such a pleasure 
uh, working with um, Epic Games and uh, the teams over there, and we cannot wait to show you what we have in store for the future. And speaking of the future, in the future, you will also know me as Black Dude, Adam. his neck is alive. Black oh, yeah, he's Black Adam, Adam isn't he? He, he is, is yeah. You know the Black Adam mythology. I still haven't watched the trailer, was it good? It is pretty decent. I mean, DC are like usually like pretty decent in that sort of superhero uh, film, so... Yeah, Black no, Adam has the powers of Superman. Yeah, the I like Shazam. Well, there's a few differences. Yeah, his neck has got a, it's a laugh of his own, hasn't it? Oh man, you're really Black focused Adam. in on that. I can't it, stop it, looking at it, his neck, so like, look at it bulge. Uh, October it does go up and down a bit. It's like a fucking machine, dude. ...to see Black Adam around the world in theaters only. And you guys will finally see the move. Of power yeah. And now I can't stop looking at it. It's like a theory, frog though. almost. Like, look at it go. To become Black Adam, and it was a, it is a role that's in my DNA, and that I was born. He was play. teased for Black Adam play, years ago. And I'm honored yeah. To Absolutely you years ago, there are rumors about it. So until then, uh, stay healthy, stay safe, stay focused. Fuck. Keep having fun. <laughs> okay, I respect ass. the plug. Uh, enjoy your gaming. And I'll see you down the road. This is Black Adam. <laughs> Boy, what a hero of the people oh, he is. Oh, we're gonna see the trailer now. Yeah, what summer film first. Nothing but hearty. Are they just showing the whole trailer? Maybe. I was a slave until I died. Oh. Well, honestly, another screen's corporate yeah, more than showing a whole entire film trailer at a game festival. Yeah. Hey man, just gotta pay those bills. I know. <laughs> Anyway, I haven't seen the trailer, so I might as well watch it. Oh, but you know what I've got to do? I've got to cut this trailer when we actually put this oh, on. Oh, yeah, copyright. You can fucking get smacked for We that. can see it, but you can't. Unless you just go watch it on YouTube. Yeah, just go which, watch it on YouTube. Which is very easy to do. Just do yeah. that. That's up to you. You get to see uh, his big meaty hands on the windshield after this. <laughs> Told you. Cool. Anyway, about the games. You back to the games, yeah. <laughs> oh. Outriders. Wow, that's still going. Square. Square Wait, Enix. What the fuck? I forgot I thought, this game existed. I, I, thought, <laughs> I, thought, I thought you I sold off the game. American branches. I was looking at it, and my my brain literally equations are going across my face, thinking. What the what is this? And then you said square, and I was like, oh my god, yeah, they did do a thing like this, didn't they? Yeah. It's still do going. Do people still play this? I got no clue. It's getting DLC, so they must do, right? I love a Godfall Actually, got DLC. I say that, but sorry, Babylon's Fall, no one plays that anymore. Oh. <laughs> Babylon's. Did, did I call it Godfall? Yeah. Babylon's Fall, yeah, that's the. That, oh god, what? Right. Oh, right. That's sad to talk about, in all honesty. Yeah, that game's. Like, I never played it because, like, it, it, oh, it was just not my cup of tea. Platinum but I'm really were enthusiastic and passionate about this different game they were going for, but just. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, it, it did not pan out at all. At no. all. Like, god. Uh, it is sad. Bayonetta that 3 one is still on my heart, that's though, still so. playing it, though, I think. It's keeping it alive. <laughs> yeah, that one. Yeah, there was one person <laughs> playing one it. one guy, yeah, at one point, yeah. Bless him. Outriders. Cool. Anyway, next. Yeah. I'm getting Good. impatient now. <laughs> Silk Song? Silk Song? Sh oh my god, it's Silk Channing Song? the Silk chat Song? right now. Silk Song? Silk Song? Silk Song? Time for your expectations. <gasps> switch! 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 switch. <laughs> Coming soon? Oh no! Oh, it's just a, it's a, oh, Splatoon 3. Okay. It's a little slideshow. It's just a slideshow. They're just reminding you they still exist because they've got a direct coming up. At some and also, point. Soul Hackers 2 is now coming to the Switch. Right? Oh, Xenoblade 3! Oh sorry, yeah. I'm so excited for that game. <laughs> the game, the pre orders at America ruined. Oh, mate. I feel sorry <laughs> for America. Their pre orders are fun. Oh my god. I think this is an advert, by the way, so I can't it's even put free. this. Oh no, it's oh. full, guys. Good on full, guys. Yeah, I mean, they, they're going free to play, aren't they? They've made some strides, and yeah, it's going free to fucking play. I paid for that game. Me too. <laughs> Shit. 
I should have waited. I should have waited 12, what, two, two, no, four years actually. Is it been oh, four years? No, Some it's not other. been four years. No, it's been two. Don't forget two bean is canon and alive and exists oh, yeah. in this universe. Yeah. Man, what a horrifying uh, realization that you turn into one of those. They turn into mechs though, don't forget. They actually showed anatomy for what the four guys actually are. <laughs> yeah. And oh, they're mechs. Yeah. There are, there are people inside there. They're not actual people. Do you remember that? Yeah, that was so freaky. And they're like weird robot people. They're spongy yeah. robot people. Oh man. Free for all. It's still in season one? No, that they're changing so it back to, to season Henry one because guys it's going free to play. Free. Oh, okay, so they're starting again. But they're not starting again. They well, keep they're keeping the content. It's a, it's a separate they've... thing for free yeah. All right, back to another new game announced. All the We're content that they've done up to that point. Universe from a new team of legendary developers. Oh. Check this out. Oh, new team, eh? Oh. Legendary new developers, eh? Frost Giants. That was beautiful. Ooh. It's a space game. <laughs> Fucking god! Signals breaking up. How many space games has it been so far? See you soon. Over. Actually, legit, what is this though? Okay, hurry. Interesting. Horizon Zero Dawn Space Edition. Command, I may be on to something. That's not an indie game, no. It looks quite high. I've never heard of the studio, so... Yeah, that's what I mean. It looks quite hey, high budget. Doc. I've got this. God, the little But I mean, the cutscene does. I don't know if the gameplay is. Oh, shit. Demon fighter giant mech. Ooh. Oh. Alright, pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. It's a cool cutscene, but I want to see gameplay. End of trade. Glad you could make it. We gotta move now. Oh, hey, gameplay. Gameplay. And hell's coming with it. No gameplay. Stormgate. Oh, cool. Okay. A beta. Oh, beta. Meh. I mean, you know, that's a concept. It's a concept. It's, it's very but... hard to fall in love with, like, quote unquote, concept. new Congratulations. concepts now about gameplay yeah. or games. Yeah, is real. We have a name and some details. Uh, so. First of all, congratulations on this announcement. We're so excited about the return of RTS, brand new. This is, uh, this is my biggest. Oh, it's a real time strategy. Right, so it's an RTS game. Oh, it's an RTS game. During a massive solar storm that unleashed the infernal host on future Earth. Okay. Uh, 
and we saw some hints of some ra I mean, you know, you guys coming from Blizzard and StarCraft, everyone wants to know about racing. I was literally uh, about to say, like, uh, that, that logo yeah, looks like a Blizzard tile logo. Today, but there will be more. If that makes uh, any sense. Oh, so what? Are these guys, uh, like, an offshoot of Blizzard or, like, they've started their own studio? Then? I think so. I don't really know, like, yeah. the, the, the names uh, who have worked in Blizzard and, like, who, who left. No, no, me neither, but... The fact that it said you've, you came from the yeah. background offshoot. pedigree of the team, of, you so know, they're a new company basically. The RTS mm. genre, we've all loved this is decades, the thing that they do but, you know, now. Like people who want to make uh, like the games they want to make, some, like these big creators, they're show, just like fuck it, I'm going to start my own studio. They fuck off from the corporate bullshit, especially the corporate bullshit of Blizzard right fucking now, and then they do their own shit. Very conscious, which is honestly a good strategy. It works out sometimes unless you're. The Fune with my really number nine. Ah, uh, yeah, that's enemy. true. But First then off, you've got Bloodstained, which is yeah, insanely good. Yeah, I still haven't played Bloodstained, but you, so you yeah. really like Bloodstained. Yeah, yeah, that was really good. Nothing like that. But um, sometimes, ki sometimes Kickstarter, so that works. Sometimes they don't. Yeah. But, but Bloodstained, uh, really it did work out really well. Oh, yeah, Kickstarter do work sometimes. Like, quite a lot of times now, I'd say, more times. Yeah. I think his name was, uh, was it... Ko Koji, I think. I I I I Igarashi, I think his name was. Oh, what? The guy who made Castlevania? The guy who made Castlevania, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's well, kind of a dude, bro. Yeah, he was literally so, yeah. just like, fuck Konami. Yeah. And like, I'm, yeah. Just, I'm just doing my own shit. And he did his own shit, and his own shit was really good. And they're still adding stuff to uh, Bloodstain. Oh, man. Because they recently well, well, I, got the uh, Child of Light crossover. For the beta, so we play as a main character in that game. And I'm just so thrilled yeah, that, that looks like... A, um, brand new yeah, that RTS does look like a spiritual kind of StarCraft you know, sort of thing. Yeah, yeah so StarCraft is actually a pretty good example, actually. Thank you so much for giving us your announcement today on Summer Game Fest. Thank you so much for having us here. Really great. Awesome. Yeah, right, I, can, I see it. I see it. Keep an eye out for it. Honestly, now these like big name creators, who, uh, it's it's better than not being held Hi back water. by corporate yeah. bullshit. Like Kojima's doing super well for himself too. Oh yeah, which I'm really sure. happy about. Good morning, high water dwellers. High water pirate radio, keeping you in the know with our flow. Alphaville authorities continue to deny false rumors that Alphaville elites are planning to evacuate to Mars. True or not, the one thing we can't deny is that the world ended on a sunny day. <laughs> oh, oh man, that's a depressing idea for a game. Flood. The more bright and sunny it is in a horror game, the more eerie it is sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I don't think. Nah, it's probably not a horror game. It's more like a. Oh, I mentioned the apocalypse, so I just assumed. Yeah, it's probably like. Oh, it's like a story driven, like, travel around this destroyed, like, flooded yeah. world kind of style. I do, I do wonder if I'm allowed to like use any of the music or have to mute it. <laughs> we'll see. That's, all, that's always the thing with these like reactions. You never know. Yeah. What a breathtaking trailer. High Water is an adventure strategy game set in a world ravaged oh, by extreme climate change. Adventure strategy? Now, speaking I didn't of the see that in the gameplay. Us, the conflict in Ukraine is not far from anyone's mind. Oh, it's man. It's the development of games, including replaced from Sad Cat Studios, a Belarusian studio with devs from Belarus and Ukraine. The team oh. had long hoped to reveal a new trailer here today, but were understandably unable to complete it in time. Oh, Guys, shit. I just want to say we're thinking of you and all the developers impacted by the yeah, conflict. Yeah, that's rough. And hope to be able to oh, share man. your work at a future show. Aww. All right, our next game them. is an official selection of the Tribeca Games Festival. It's American Arcadia, where you play Trevor, whose life is being televised, with the viewing population constantly voting you up or down. What? Uh, <laughs> popular, you need to start running for your life. Check this out. What? That sounds awesome. Yes, <laughs> that sounds like a really. That sounds like a Truman Show, the video game. Well, let's see how it goes. Picture a city where technology and science go hand in hand with fun and entertainment. My grandfather, Elijah Walton, had a dream to build the city of tomorrow. That dream is now a reality, and that city is Arcadia. 
It's a world where Bloodborne 2 for PC got announced. Look at this paradise. <laughs> That's a Bloodborne 2 for PC. Wow, I'm blood drunk. I'm blood drunk as fuck, as you can tell. Oh man, that's terrifying. <laughs> oh god, it's already a reality, though. Control. No, it's not. Flop was never gonna come on PC. Interrupt broadcast immediately. Huh. I love that you just play as some dude. That's hilarious. <laughs> some dude who's been <laughs> televised and watched. You're basically the Truman Show of the video game. Listen to me. We can't allow Trevor Hills to escape under any circumstances. Trevor. He made Jim Carrey noises. Trevor, can you hear me? Oh man. Be yeah, careful. did they get Jim Carrey to play him? <laughs> Don't worry. My Jim Carrey's finished, remember? He's done. Those are his exact um, words. My... <laughs> you can never tell if he's been serious or not. I can't tell if he was joking about that. Apparently, we've made it to the beach. Whoa! Next up is that a is we've all been <laughs> that's now that's a, a stage. Time. Jesus Christ! There's trouble in that's paradise. a transition. I can hear Jeff's voice. He's even like, again. "Wow, this is excessive." After many years of rumors, <laughs> we finally get an update on this much anticipated sequel. Sequel? Oh, oh! Epic Games. No, shut up. Oh my god. It still exists, Joe. What is it? Dead Island. <laughs> oh my fucking god, it's not Dead Island. It is Dead Island. How long has this game been trapped in development hell? I can't believe this is still in. No way. This is, de this is Dead Island, right? This is, isn't it? It's the same trailer and Are everything. Those... Zombie goats? I don't. Wait. No, is it Dead Island? Oh, I thought it was. It was like the what guy the jogging. No. I thought it... Oh my god, biggest gun jump of the presentation. Jesus Christ. Oh, honestly, I thought it was Dead Island because the guy was jogging. And I it's Goat it... Simulator 2. Oh, it's Goat Simulator. Oh, shit, it is. Huh. Cool. The goat game lives on. Oh, that tongue. <laughs> oh no, they, wait, they made a sequel! They, they made a sequel! I didn't know there was a ghost simulator too! It's only free! I don't remember a ghost simulator too! <laughs> there you have it, that was the ghost simulator game. 3, and it's coming I can't believe I thought that was dead. Oh dear. Now, last year, Marvel and 2 oh, shit, Marvel. Marvel's Midnight Suns, a tactical RPG for Wait, what the fuck is this game? Studio behind XCOM and Civilization. Oh, shit, an XCOM Marvel game? Yeah, this is that XCOM Marvel game. That they, they, showed, they didn't show gameplay, they just showed, like, a concept. Like, a, a cinematic. I can't wait to miss someone with Wolverine's claws at 95% accuracy. It's, I, I, I want to see I think get my ass blown out. Oh, Metallica's playing. Of course they're oh, fucking up. Oh, it's not actual oh, gameplay. Oh, DMCA is on it. The pioneers yeah. of DMCA. Fucking god. Don't get me started on Metallica and DMCA. Oh mate, I've got, I've got, I've got a cut straight. Like not cut, but like edit. Damn, Venom's out. fucking shredded. This is cool, but I want to see gameplay. Yeah, I don't really care about like, um, like CG film trailers. You're not, you're not really selling me on something when you're just showing. It only really works when it's like uh, something really good or it's a sequel to the beloved game. Yeah, it doesn't work if it's like a brand new game. I mean, you know, it, it, yeah, it works better for a brand new game if you do show that. But also, uh, if you throw gameplay along it. Yeah. Oh, that's why I'm not. Screw to mine. Luck. I'm gonna need some backup. It's not Spider-Man 2. <laughs> no. That's the only Venom sort of Marvel game that I give a shit about right now. And also because I possibly put in Craven in it. Oh, that'd be cool. That would be awesome. Wow, feels like I'm wearing nothing at all in that stick spider suit. 
This is a... That's <laughs> what attack it is and he starts when she walks out. Oh, thanks. I've got to cut this now. Like, I mean, the sound. Oh, the big old symbiote demon. And the Hulk. Oh my god, the fuck! What, what have they that done is, to him? I can't tell if that's cool or all completely cursed. Wait, what did they do to the Hulk? And there's Doctor oh, Strange. Oh, fucking pre-order skins. I, I Honestly, the Square game of Marvel has just put me off that shit for life. I don't want to see anything to do pre-orders of a Marvel game ever again. Oh, Spider-Man gets a pass. That used to always work. Well, it did that one time. Did they just spoo Spider-Man through? Or okay, just Venom's weakness in general? I don't- I can't tell you more. Oh yeah, Cuphead. Of Cuphead. Cuphead, the delicious last course. And you, can you believe it? We're only a couple weeks away from playing the delicious oh, last shit, course Sal? DLC. You see how they did that for Cuphead? Join me now. Oh, I still got to have play Cuphead, yeah. So first of all, <laughs> well, I haven't played this game. Really I need coming. to play Cuphead. It's really coming June 30th. At oh, some point, man. At some point we'll play it. You well, need to. It's fucking so hand-drawn animation. Uh, That's like my ex- That was my expertise back in college. Yeah, slash we'll, university. we'll play it at some point. Uh, the fuck is wrong with me, man? Why so out of touch? People are not going to be ready for no. how amazing this looks and the backgrounds and what you guys have done. I feel like you've you've amped up, obviously, the gameplay. It's difficult, as we would expect, but the visual look, you guys have taken it even to the next level, which I didn't think was possible. Yeah, we absolutely did. I couldn't pinpoint one thing that we're proud of in this because we really honed our craft. Oh, took man. everything to the next level from animation, the background. How do you hone music, something that's already design, perfect looking? Um, and of course, a new playable character. Apparently, is you Chalice. do. I'm very proud of her. <laughs> because Chalice is fun I remember when Cuphead was and first announced, and that blew my fucking like mind back in the day. Cuphead in many ways. It is, it is, definitely. Yeah, Mate, this DLC has been in the works for like four or five new, uh, years. Yeah, I'm not I'm surprised. Yeah, it's our biggest island yet. Super sized bosses, lots of secrets to this. That kind of animation does not take a short time. Hey man, if we play Lots Cuphead one day, brought, at least uh, we'll have all the want, DLC ready for us. True. It's never too late to get in, I suppose. A little something, yeah. It's a uh, brand new gameplay footage of one of our new Ooh. bosses, Mortimer Ooh, Freeze. Oh, cool, takes cool. Place in an icy arena um, and features some of my personal favorite um, attacks and transformations. We hope everyone enjoys it. All right, let's check it out. Cuphead, the delicious last course. Thanks, Wow. Thanks. Cuphead, the delicious last course, man. Oh, it's a giant freezer. Nice. Oh. Dude, look at that boss fucking transition. That's crazy, man. Jeez. This is... It's so Incredible. fluid. It's insanely fucking fluid. Mate, that animation. Bro, that's incredible. They've actually surpassed old school Disney animation. In my opinion. That is amazing. That looks really hard as well. It's cool because all the crazy patterns of like the boss fights actually really make you uh, appreciate the animations more. Yeah. Because you're concentrating so much on them to understand the pattern. Because I've heard that Cuphead yeah. is a pretty hard game. Yeah, this looks tough. This actually does look quite hard. Oh my god. That was really close to death. <laughs> That was cool. Shit, oh. man. What am I doing in my life? I've got to play a Cuphead. <laughs> now, if you want even more Cuphead, and who doesn't, tomorrow we will show you an exclusive look at season two of the Cuphead show when I co-host Netflix's... Oh, yeah. I forgot it's got a TV show. Yeah, it's got a fucking TV show, too. It Cuphead's come so far, man. Eastern. Cuphead has honestly remade some strides. It's become a franchise. Coming up next is the Day of the Devs Indie Showcase. Devolver. Then Devolver's Marketing Countdown to Marketing. Tomorrow, after Geek Week, there is the Epic Game Store Showcase at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Oh, Eastern, with news this on Rocket League now. and the Tribeca Game Showcase. And Sunday, don't miss the Xbox and Bethesda <sighs> Game Showcase with a look at the future of Xbox. I didn't mean to yawn at the Xbox Pass. Bethesda one. Oh, man, I was going to say, Sunday, like, Nintendo's I'm sure that'd be saying. Are you throwing shade? No, no right. yeah, I mean, oh, I, don't, I don't know anymore hell, Bethesda anymore. Slays demons for the chance to ascend. To heaven. Huh? That sounds like a cool concept. Oh, this, oh, this game. game! Yeah, this, this game, game actually, actually looks, looks really cool. cool. Yeah, it does. There's lots it's of like... flashy, colorful colors. And the story just sounds interesting. Sinners plucked from hell to do God's dirty work. 
but I'm finding it hard to believe we're in heaven. Huh. You, you pick up cards, right? Yeah. And you fight with the cards, like, yeah. to get through. That sounds really cool. First like, person that's a really card cool game. Concept. I don't know if it's like a roguelike or not. Got ten days here. You day, you mission from old Mikey. You think you can win me over by showering me with gifts? Uh... Good thinking. <laughs> yeah, I already love a star of this game. Yeah, this looks really cool. Oh. Oh, they, shit. That's... Got... That's in a week's time. Damn. Steam and Switch. Yeah, I'm going to do a wish list, definitely. We've shown you lots of games today made by huge teams. Now it's time for a game made by a single father in Poland. Oh. Over the past year, he's brought on some help to bring his vision for a fast-paced action game, Midnight Fight Express, to life. Let's take cool a look. Name. That guy's wearing a horse mask. That is intimidating hey, as fuck. By a single guy in Poland? You know the saying, get knocked down, get up again, that whole spiel. Well, it's time, partner. Time to rise up. Together. Rise. See, I appreciate this because they're showing gameplay. Yeah. Looks pretty dynamic. <laughs> it's happening. The big guys oh my god, did you see it. that Joker look like? Oh, wow. What a state he was. Stink of corruption all over this kind of reminds me of, um, oh, what was it called? Was... There's quite a few you could say. You got a lot of yeah, options. Yeah, Killing Floor and stuff like that. Yeah, killing Floor was first person. Not Killing, not killing Floor, sorry, I, I mean the other one. Uh, Miami. Hotline uh, Miami. Hotline Miami, yeah. 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 A little bit, yeah. Just like the way Especially like... with the animal masks, too. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Such a cool game, and I'm happy to announce that a PC demo of this game is going live right now on Aww, Steam. Sweet. Nice. Part of the Steam Next Fest next week. I really want more playable games to get in the hands of you guys at home, and that's one of them. Check it out. Warframe, right, I can hear Sarah going nuts. Oh, this is Sarah's, this is Sarah's bit. Megan, how you Bring doing? on the sub, Sarah. I'm so good, my fellow Canadian. I know, we got like, it's just happen to, Good to see you, eh? Teams on the yeah, show. We have a maple syrup. Right? We do well. <laughs> we have a great connection. We've also done a lot with Warframe over the years, and I know right Fan now, he's watching the giant on leaves. Twitch for more than 30 minutes. This show right. is going to get a special Twitch drop, right? That's right. I already have seen people getting it, so it's very exciting. She's right there, loud and proud. Oh, she's a, a, a character watching. that's Thank dropping, you Sarah. You better get on there. Oh. Your special events category, but she is there and she is. Wait, in Warframe a gacha now? Up. No, Warframe, you know, as I said, we've done a lot over the years. You guys have done incredible things with the game, and I know I, you have I had no idea Warframe was a gacha. July, is it? Your big kind of I've never played Warframe in my entire life. I don't, I've never played Warframe, but. Well, I can't tell too much, um, but yeah, July 16th, Maybe not. 2022, Maybe I'm wrong a digital that. event again this year. Uh, today, actually, we just launched... Oh, Sarah's going to be there. Sports. You can get some in-game goodies, some <laughs> oh, wait, really it's cool digital. cosmetics, no, some merch, all that really great she'll stuff. She'll be there in today. spirit. But yeah. of course, the reason I'm here... She went to a to, Warframe you know, event, kind of actually. Debut, she did, yeah, yeah. She went to a con. Yeah. con which is our big and they announced the, the, night, the and Switch they version of Warframe. usually do a little bit of a, a gameplay, a little bit of a demo, and I think a lot of people can suspect what it might be, yeah. but I'm here to kind of confirm what it is that Tunnel Live is going to show. And what is that? Can I say it? Yes, I think you can. Okay, you're going to get your first look at the Daviri Paradox. It's finally! Finally, I know, I know it's been a couple of years. Uh, I bet Sarah knows what that is. Be what I, I, bet Sarah knows I bet she's making, I bet she's making uh, squeaky really noises. Oh man, I wish we had like Sarah chat, really like just going right, right now. Just invade her Twitch stream right now. Let's take a look yeah. Yeah, go. Oh. Her goat, her goat avatar. Yeah, yeah, just your goat avatar bob back and forth. Yeah. What was done is done. New dangers. Good for Warframe. It's been going for so long. It's very popular. This game's got a horse. Oh man.
Who would have thought ninjas in space would go so far? <laughs> For now. I mean, a lot of people aren't ninjas. Yeah. We There's a pretty girl. In space. And just put them in space and make them even cooler. <laughs> Sarah's like, ah! ah! Oh man, if Sarah sees it, she's gonna rip us. <laughs> Thanks for the gift subs! Ah! That was a really good impression, though. Thanks, man. I've known it for long enough. Yeah. Tenno Colon, uh, that's where she went to, I think. Oh, that was it, yeah, Tenno Colon. That's Love cool, you, really. Sarah. Yeah, we mean it in jest. Next, it's time oh. for a new look at Honkai Star Rail, an upcoming oh, open Oh, our Twitch, our Twitch, our, our Discord, some today. of the people in there might be going a bit crazy yeah. on this. Someone's Global excited on our Discord, this definitely. Continues to deliver, and this new trailer reveals I will say, though, Star What's the difference between Honkai in fact and Genshin in fact? I think they're just names. What came out first? Oh, uh, uh, Honkai definitely came out first. Oh, okay. And then Genshin. And then Genshin. And this is like a different thing. I think this is like a turn-based RPG. Yeah. Is it gacha like Genshin? I imagine it's gonna have gacha elements, right? Listen. Oh yeah, they're not called Myoho anymore. They're called Honkai Univ Hoyo Hoyo Universe. Oh, they changed their name to Universe. What? Just Universe? No. Uh, oh. Hollow. <laughs> Universe, I was gonna say, I mean, it's you know, it's not much longer until I do control the universe with more, more Genshin, more in fact. Universe, yeah. But still, you will meet companions I mean, who treat you like, like if, it could be good if it's like a turn-based game. Like, it could be really fun. I like turn-based games. Right not turn nah. like RPGs. Make it ATB and then we'll talk. I think it is ATB. Oh shit! All right, shut the fuck up. I'm, I'm not don't sure. Don't do this to me. I, I don't know. She's got a guitar. At the end of the story. And she's drinking tea. Damn it. When did anime get so cool all of a sudden? That's the you I like. Anime sh anime's not cool. How can, how can you make anime cool like this? I have no idea. I have no idea if it's turn if it's like ATB or if it's just straight up turn base. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I don't know shit about Genshin or Honkai. But it's in space. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not all from Is that what we're gonna call the video? Today, I'm excited to introduce you to Zenless Zone. Space Man. Games Fest. Major new it IP. really is Space Games Fest, though. So. Space Games Fest. I have to say, I'm blown away by what I've seen so far. It was announced a couple weeks ago, and it has the detail. Oh, yeah, I saw this. Impact this is like, this looked like. Action style. Here is the world premiere of a brand new look at Zenless's notable characters, armed enemies, and world of danger. Okay, this did look interesting, and it is by the same company, but it did look really interesting. I like the glad the video games are a lot more accepting, and they're showing off a lot more anime games now. Yeah, which is nice. Because anime games used to be so, like, niche and for a certain audience who was obviously into anime. Yeah. But now they're doing a better job at advertising anime games now. Yeah. Because companies now put more of their all into anime now. games too. Yeah, it is. I mean, I think Genshin Impact definitely has made it more popular. Well, that and Netflix. I mean, like, so many, like, net, having access to, like, things that like, animate on Netflix <laughs> has made things go more well, popular. Finally. Not much longer, depending on how Netflix goes for. Yeah. This looks cool, man. Oh, shit. Did you see that ninja run deflect from Metal yeah. Gear Rising? Did you see that? That was straight out of Metal Gear Rising. Yeah. Honestly, there are some good action anime games out there. Scarlet yeah. Nexus is one of them. Yeah, Scarlet Nexus is good. That's a super good anime good. game. Yeah. I actually really enjoyed Scarlet Nexus. Not a lot of people have heard of it or know of it, but I played it, and uh, trust me when I say it's a pretty decent action game. It's getting, it might get a sequel, by the way. Oh shit, really? I'm on that. I'm definitely on that. No, it, they want, game, the creator game, wants to make a sequel. The what? gameplay was the best thing about Scarlet Nexus. Yeah. That's pretty good. <laughs> it's basically... Like Genshin Impact on the street. Oh, oh shit! shit. Last year was Shredder's, Shredder's Revenge. Shredder's Revenge, which reminds us all of the Turtles arcade games back in the day. Well, it's nearing the end of development. And this game looks amazing, SGF though, like animation-wise. Like, the game, right? The animation in this looks incredible. 
It's so cool that they're bringing back arcade Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Because they took over the fucking scene back in the day. Oh, you can play a Shredder? Yeah. Wait, what? Know that. that wasn't Shredder. Not Shredder, I mean, um, the Shredder, I mean, the fucking, the, uh, oh, what's his name? I forgot his name, the, the, ma the rat. You'll see his name in a sec. <laughs> yeah, man, it's been, it's been years since I've played, I've uh, gotten to see you and so. But I did like Turtles in Time, that was really cool. Ah, oh, this looks good. I bet this would be fun to go to as well. Did you remember his name yet? Don't. No, fucking. No, it's not Donatello, that's one of the turtles. That's one of the turtles. It's Splinter. Yeah. Master Splinter. Splinter, that was it, Splinter, yeah. Shredder was like the evil one. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Gives me Scott Pilgrim vibes a little bit. Yeah! Scott With Pilgrim, like, like animation wise. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a little bit. Although the animation in Scott Pilgrim was so good. Mm -hmm. They brought that game back as well. Cool. Good old beat em ups. Mads. I haven't played a beat em up game in such a long time. Don't worry, when River City Girls 2 comes out, I'll get you on that. I still haven't played one. Holy fuck, it's out in a week. Oh, damn, that's a surprise oh, drop. Shit. Super people. Is it bad that I thought they were showing off that Suicide Squad game for a second? Oh! That I reminds me, are they gonna show off Gotham Knights here? I think they might, the... yeah. Is this... Oh! Go for it, Ben. Is this, um... Oh, what's, what's it called? Uh, fucking... What you got? The... No, it's not. I was thinking it's, um... Oh, God, I forgot the name of it now. My mind's drawing a blank. Um... Crap. Not GTA, the other one. Definitely not GTA. Not GTA, but the other one. Saints Row? Saints Row, yeah. Is it Saints Row? Nah. No, it's just called Super People. Super oh, okay. People. It was actually point, just, it was... Exactly what it says in the tin. Yeah. Oh. I thought it was like a, a trailer for the new Saints Row. I was like, oh no. It's not. Oh, this is another Civilization esque game. Civilization? Dad, actually went a bra. Oh, wait, that was a dude. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck am I talking about? Oh, I see it. Oh, I just said that. Humankind, my friend. Humankind. Look, I really liked Pocahont Pocahontas as a kid. Okay? Fair enough. I can't cover myself. But wait, there's more. Sacrificing. Oh, no. Oh, God, why are they playing this song? Now i got to cut <laughs> it. <laughs> Fucking hell. You sure it's not free domain? I doubt it's free domain. No. Oh, normalize these game shows, not playing copyright music for the people on YouTube, please. Humankind. No. Humankind. Humankind needs to start playing its own music. That's how I'm going to push it. Yeah, I mean, I'm just assuming that this is probably not copyright. So oh. allows you to shape your civilization. Time for Sonic. A multitude of historical civilizations. Show us from more Egypt Sonic. Nah, I've already seen enough of Sonic. I want more. One Piece is oh shit! Wow. They're even advertising One Piece of all things. Is May. Okay, I, 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 I am Jesus interested. Christ. I will say I'm interested in this game because it's a turn-based RPG. Oh, it's only a matter of time, will not it? I don't know shit about One Piece, though. I, I know a few I've people in the Discord who do, and are probably going nuts seeing this right now, though. I, I, I do, because I've watched up to episode 800. You have? Yeah. I didn't know you watched One Piece. The I've watched it for years. What? But like, Why on are you the figuring side? this out now? I had no clue you watched One Piece. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I had no clue you were even into it. 
I watch it a bit, like in like on and off. Like, I watched eight hundred episodes. Oh, yeah, I watched on and off. Bit. Like for years, on and off. Like I mean, on and off. <laughs> you stuck with it for a long time, though. Yeah, but it's on and off. It's like I'll watch it like every now and then, sort of thing. <laughs> I had, I honestly had no clue you even watch One oh, Piece. Shit. I've not touched One Piece. I'm one of those people where it's just, it's too daunting for me to even start. It's so big, honestly. It's like, I read a thing where, because you know One Piece is like the big juggernaut of Shonen right yeah. now. It always comes in first place. It's actually fourth place now. Yeah, I know. And that's because it's now, its strongest point where it's never ending is now becoming its weakness. Yeah. But it is ending like, though. It's entering its final arc. Yeah, but even now people are like, it's too long. Yeah, I know. I Apparently will say it though, takes an entire year to watch about what half the series non-stop yeah. in total. That's fucking absurd to me. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, the biggest show in series in the world is is still going strong. Yeah. Filled with new encounters. So Honestly, is this Dragon Game Quest? Play. Is this Dragon Piece? Yes, it's Dragon Piece. Gosh, That's yeah. why I'm kind of interested in it. <laughs> Yeah, man, you can tell uh, uh, <laughs> it's like really Dragon Questy and yeah, I can tell people are gonna go nuts for this. So have they found the One Piece yet? One Piece no, Odyssey. fuck's sake! And <laughs> also, uh, he's gone on record to say oh, the boy. ending that uh, the friends you made along the way no. is not how it's gonna end. It's not how it's gonna joke. end. <laughs> The One Piece was the friends we made so along the way. That's what everyone thinks it is, but I'd, 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 like, it's not, it's not. It's not. He said yeah. it's not. It's too bad. But I don't know, because I'm only, I'm only at like... Is, is it crazy to say fuck? I'm only on episode 800? Like, that sounds so, like, dumb, but... Like, oh, shit, shit, well, shut the fuck oh, up! Fuck. Shut up! Sorry. Give us a dub. Give me a fucking dub. Jeremy Lay. That's not a bad casting option, actually. <laughs> so fucking hackers, let's go. Eric Harlacher. Shut up! <laughs> you get one more chance to make Yeah, dub, let's go! Woo! Oh shit, yeah! you got dub? Thank you, Atlas. Also, this music sounds the sick. The English language exists! Yeah, Dub, let's go. So Best announcement. <laughs> I'm sorted. Wrap it up. That was a really good announcement. Let's go. Credit card to reward your gaming purchases at nerdwallet.com. The epic mega sale what? is going on I just, right yeah, now. I, I, I didn't even, I didn't even process that. I just turned nerdwallet.com and I was like, My wait, what? My endorphins were overloaded <laughs> after seeing that what? English what? little teaser. Oh sure man, you want to play this game? This game looks awesome. You get to play as a shark. Yeah. Turn to the Epic Game Store Twitch channel for our summer <laughs> showcase on June 10th. <laughs> yes, yeah, English Soul Hackers. I'm so happy. That's cool because, man, is this the first time the in, uh, I think, a really long time where Atlas has given an English dub to a spin off yeah. of the SMT? Honestly, uh, not really. They're actually pretty good. The only scary part was of Strange Journey Redux when they made oh, it all yeah, Japanese. Oh yeah, they didn't give the dub for that. In the worst that. possible game they could have died for too. Although that would have been a really good dub. Because the characters weren't even Japanese in that game. Oh no. They weren't, For the most right. part. <laughs> this is great, I'm glad I was showing right now because I can think about Soul Hackers 2 more. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I want to play Soul Hackers 2. But I, yeah. I've, got, I've got to play one. Like, I still haven't played one. I've got it oh, on my 3DS. Have you I got it? Have, yeah, I've got it on my 3DS. I bought it. Like, I was like, I'm not paying 80 quid for that. It's got got honestly, it on... the gameplay for Soul Hackers 1 is okay. I'd say it's actually very mid compared to a lot of the other games, but it has yeah, got some very interesting concepts. Like, I do yeah, like. that's why I want to You play literally hack into someone's soul and you play as a different character yeah. with a different team is pretty sweet. Yeah. But Soul I Hackers mean, 2 doesn't even look like a Soul Hackers game. Oh, okay. Capcom. Capcom. Classics. Oh, Capcom classics. classics coming to Switch. Oh my god, Street Fighter 1. No. Oh, it's an arcade. arcade stuff, yeah. Oh yeah, Capcom will never not sell their stuff.
I need to pick up pocket fires for my console. Oh, yeah. Mario. Oh, of course they got to throw this in there. Oh, look here, it's a meme. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've not seen that meme funny enough. In Mario Strikers Battle League. It's okay, it's this Ben, no you said this game uh, uh, looks pretty good. And I said, it. It is, like, so, mechanically, this is a really good victory. football game. So like, this is really fun. Yeah. Mechanically. They won't say it from its biggest sin, though. Game rated everyone 10 and up. You know like, it's bigger soon. I just think it's really lacking in content. Well, it's lacking Daisy. And Daisy, that's, yeah. That's, that's, that's and for content. content. Name is no, Daisy is for content. What are you talking Daisy about? Daisy is the content. The really Everything good, else is compelled to move and shoot to the not beat. there. But what if you had to? In metal, the better you are at slaying metal. to the beat, the more intense everything gets. Oh. And we have vocal performances from legendary artists like Serge Tankian from System of a Down. So while oh, shit. Isn't mandatory, that's a big name. We do recommend <laughs> All right. It. Our demo is live now on Steam, Xbox, and PlayStation platforms. Uh, well, uh, so go well, check it out. It's much bigger than beat. yours. Sleep to the beat. Look at that. But it's per minute. Yeah. Oh man, I play a bit of bits per minute. It's a pretty fun game. To see it bigger and better than ever is honestly tempting me, especially because it's my kind of music that's playing right now. It's pretty cool. Oh man. <laughs> oh, oh, dude, it's the rhythm it is definitely feeding my dumb metalhead brain the endorphins that it needs. It lie. works, doesn't it, with a first does. person shooter? Uh, because it's like bang, 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 Oh shit, bang. they had a finger above my genome, what the fuck? Trivia oh, for fuck's sake, I just realized. Don't fucking do this to me, I gotta get this game now. I just realized, is that a sword? Oh, oh my sorry, god, I got Matt from Trivium, fuck off. There he is, there's the boy. I've got, to, I've got to mute this. <laughs> oh damn it! I'm getting this game. Fuck's sake. Is it out? I, is it out? If it's out, I'm getting it. I, no, it's a demo. It's a demo. Oh, I'm getting the demo. This oh my like god, the Doom, music we... sounds fucking phenomenal, though. I'm not gonna lie. Metal. Metal Hell Singer. I'm, bet so, I'm, I'm sold. Fuck demo out now. Oh, I'm downloading it. You sold oh, it's me. Oh, it's on your PS5. Let's go. I'm, you sold. I'm, I'm sold. Everything's sold. The outsiders. They've got a lot of big names in metal to do the, the fucking music for that That's shit. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah. That one was Metal Hellsinger coming later this year from Funcom, a rhythm shooter oh, with man. metal music. Yeah, I'm picking that Right now, as they mentioned, a demo has launched on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. You know you'll never be able to stream that game, though, right? Yeah, for, maybe it's for the best. <laughs> launches tomorrow, the quarry from Supermassive Games. This spiritual success of Dawn starts on that. Fucking, and all -star I love Trivium. It's getting great reviews. Wait, this Supermassive Games? Worthy teen horror entertainment experiences where your every choice shapes your story and determines who lives and who dies at a camp in upstate New York. Here's the first look at the launch trailer. Family is the most important thing. Oh shit! This is that the family. Isn't this family, a spiritual success of two? Like um, my family. Every last one of them decided to jump down the bottom of the This is well like the spiritual just... success that I'm until dawn, right? Yeah. On the end of a rope. How can one person be expected to pull them all Until Dawn was a great game, by the way. Yeah, it was. I really enjoyed it. So you pull on that rope and you're just going to fall right down to the bottom of the well with the rest of them. And what's the point of that? The fact they got Peter Stormare in that game. What? Yeah, the there quarry. Was that was it. Yeah. What? What? Kidnapping, murder, cover ups. I think the whole Hackett family is in on it. You have no idea what's going on here. Not a goddamn clue. Mate, it's just like Until Dawn. <laughs> yeah, it's straight up. It is Until right, Dawn. <laughs> Bunch of dumb teenagers getting harassed by horror creatures. Yeah, I'm all for it. It's like a B movie horror game. <laughs> just like Until Dawn. It's yeah, what I liked about Until Dawn. Yeah. <laughs> it was really funny. Yeah. Like, you know. That looks well, good. That actually looks fun. Understand the back of my palm. This isn't a ghost story. It's what a, a fucking quote. It's really happening <laughs> yeah. and you're all in it. This is gonna get a little messy. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, that does look good, actually. That's Until Dawn was so good. Noob. Yeah, it looks super be this horror. I want it. Yeah. Back at the Game Awards, Nightingale. we're proud to reveal Nightingale, a shared world survival crafting game from Inflection Games up in Canada. Now it's time to give you a brand new look and deeper look at the game. 
including its innovative realm card system that lets you impact things like the weather pattern, resources, and challenges in its procedural realms. Here is your exclusive new look. Oh. Cool. Oh no. Oh, that's a cool deer. You're alone in the realms, I'm afraid. Is this an the MMO? Are a mess. Not even sure if Nightingale made it. Does this count as space? This needs to end so I can pick up our demo. Oh my god. I'd say that staying fed, dry, man versus the wild too. Should be your priority. That's like Breath of the no, Arch is inactive, you'll need to make realm cards from rare resources. Oh. Once you have oh. realm cards, you can activate the portal. Beware them. What? Foul things lurk in the interrealmic void. Waiting to get in. Be ready with your axe pick. I see. So you make you, you use the cards to travel to different places. First person dark room. No, I'm joking. Mate, Sorry. this is basically. Oh, I was gonna say. Um. I, I can't think of anything actually. No, I can't <laughs> think of anything. Yeah. Shot. No. Can't think of anything. Normally that, that's a good thing. Yeah, it's a unique concept, I guess. It's like a survival action game. But this. Whoa, that's a naughty design. Yeah. And all is meant Damn. Decent aesthetic, not gonna lie. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. I couldn't think of a thing that I could think of. The Saints are marching oh, speaking in of Saints August Row. Oh, look, there's Saints Row. Saints there Row you go. Last year at Gamescom, and today we're happy to announce the launch of the Boss Factory demo Saints Row across was the PC best, and you console, can't tell me otherwise. Which you design and set up your character, and since it's Saints Row, you guys are going to have a lot of fun with this one. Check it out. Boss Factory? What? <laughs> guys? You got to do something to capture people's attention. So what do we build next? Would I ever show the dildo again? I wonder. Oh my. <laughs> okay, they're censoring it this time. Or are they? I'm not sure if that's for the stream or if <laughs> yeah. that's actually in yeah. the game. Or are they? I don't want every character creator to go the cyberpunk way. Oh man, that went too hard for 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 a first person shooter. As well, it was <laughs> unnecessary. There was no point. Just give your character a giant penis Seriously, by default. Perfect dinner and a mm. show, baby. That's how you live the true fantasy. <laughs> you just be butt ass naked if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy in his fucking Danganronpa pose. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Oh, the character creator literally like scans a picture of you. Oh, and it makes mate, you based on put that. you in the game. Yeah, that's what I meant by that. You can be a vampire oh, version of yourself. Fair enough. That's God, quite uh, funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! Grease goes up to a hundred. <laughs> Spaceship. That counts as space. Show the dildo! Whatever, that line next to sound can count as a doodle. That counts. <laughs> that counts as a dildo. Uh, Download now. You can play it right for now. For free. Damn. Demo. Demo is available. I just want the metal demo. That's all I care about. You're gonna grab it after. I'm this. playing now after. Nice. Next, we've got an exclusive Warhammer. first look at extended gameplay of Warhammer 40k Dark Tide. Oh, that shit. follow up to the critically acclaimed Vermintide series. Dark Tide I know a few people in Discord who are excited for this. Uh, we've got quite a few tabletop enthusiasts. And you certainly do. On September 13th for PC, on Steam, and exclusively on console on Xbox. 
I mean, Sarah got into Warhammer, but she just liked making the little figures, yeah. like painting them. Um, yeah, she's into the. I literally don't know. I, I really don't know jack shit about like Me the, the, the the Warhammer like lore and stuff. Nah. Like, I wonder if it's actually interesting. Or not. I want to know that the armor looks cool. Yeah, armor does look cool. Access the operations array and use the cryonic rods to flush the system. Preferably before something Look, I have no idea if the games are good either. I'm gonna play the single Warhammer game. Head on through the ventilation tunnels and look for an access point. This way! Move it! Damn. Ah. Oh. It's a third person game. Who would have thought? I wouldn't I wouldn't expect that actually. Chainsaw sword. Pretty staple Warhammer stuff from what I've heard about it. Chainsaw sword. Oh man, look at that. Wow, that is a <laughs> That is a device. Yeah. Mate, a mob, whoa. That's a hammer. That's that's the Staple war hammer. That's the weapon I want to use if I ever get into this game. Oh, the hammer. The fucking hammer, definitely. Yeah. Ooh. Whoa! Did you just explode that guy's head? His head. With <laughs> force. Jesus. So is this like the first person, first single player Warhammer game then? There's a couple of different characters, we choose one character. Oh. Maybe it's co-op. Different. Dark Tide. Steam and Windows. Bloober team is known for psychological <gasps> games like Blair Witch and the Medium. Today, I heard rumors. they're ready to reveal their latest creation made completely in Unreal Engine 5 for a visceral horror experience. Is this what I think it's it is? Return to the world of Layers of Fears. Oh, oh, Layers of Fear. Yeah, this is, this is what I heard about. Did you think it was Silent Hill? Yes. Someone once said. No, I played Layers of Fear one. No, no, have I. I've heard mixed things about the first game. Yeah. Well, guess that rumor panned out to be this game then. And Can you just beat the game by just not looking at a painting? I don't know. How how it works. <laughs> Layers of them. They say it's a tale of sadness and killer paintings of an artist trapped in a place beyond redemption. Oh. It's a lie. Your layers of fear is pretty trippy of its horror. Yeah, I bet. Oh yeah, it's totally trippy. And it is mine to oh. tell. Now I see it. All this misery, all this suffering, there was no other way. Shouldn't you really shouldn't. This is why I shouldn't buy into rumors, because they always turn out to be wrong sometimes. Well, let's be too soon. No, I think people thought that this was. Oh, well, they saw like a picture or something. I was like, yeah, oh, no, it's Maybe, maybe. Oh, no, yeah. it was like inside or whatever. I don't know. I don't oh, okay. know. I have no idea. City booties. I heard that they're making. I was trapped in this house, bound by this body. This is why I never watch rumor videos. Now, period, yeah. of ever, because I just yeah. don't care about rumors. I care about the actual authentic the actual, thing being the shown to me. Things that happen, yeah. Unless they've got like real credibility, like then I'll I'll listen. True, like RE4 October, remake. Gotham yeah, there we go, arrived. Gotham Knights. Batman is dead, and it's up to the Batman family, Batgirl, Batman Nightwing, is dead. Oh. Robin, <laughs> to protect Gotham. To give us an exclusive new look. Shouldn't Jason be the happiest one here if Batman's dead? <laughs> yeah. Fleur Marty. Are we gonna see some actual like cool gameplay from? I hope so. A bit of gameplay from this, actually. I'm Fleur Marty. I'm the executive You've got a cool metal finger. 
Today, we are oh, yeah. thrilled so to share does. more with you on one of our beloved nights, Nightwing. This showcase is the first hey, in our Dick. character series, and we're really looking forward to share more with you as we continue working towards our launch on October 25th. So I hope you enjoy the show and stay tuned. Oh, Mr. Grayson, so, what you got for Gotham us? Gotham Knights like a spiritual successor, spiritual a sequel to I like believe the it's sort of, it sort of is, yeah. Arkham games. I don't know if it's directly, but I, I think nah, it's yeah. loosely connected. I haven't really researched a lot, to be honest. Its people became my family. Gotham gave me everything. It deserves to feel safe. Nightwing. Okay, now we're doing Nightwing stuff. He's flipping, he's dipping. He's got new costumes. Okay. No matter how hard we try, there's always more to do. And now, it's up to me. Damn. Oh. Okay, we got some costumes going on. I can't tell if this is gameplay or not. I think it is. It's like cinematic I mean, gameplay. It's like slight yeah. of some of it. Is. It's cinematic gameplay. Yeah. I got this, Bruce. <laughs> the twist is that Batman's not really dead. And no one invited Damien. Because fuck Damien. Damien sucks. Wow, that's out in October. Sure. That was Gotham Knights, and now cool. we welcome... Cool. Oh, look who it is. Neil Druckmann from Naughty Dog. Uh, oh, oh, here we go. Uh, great to have you with us, Neil. It's <laughs> is, been a, uh, is, an eventful day on the internet. This, is is the Dog bad fans, choice going to be uh, made? We jinxed ourselves. We were joking about last night, like, watch the ass assets will leak, and yes. lo and behold... Well, the good news oh, is that oh, he know, they, they, know, they, they, they know about the thing. About, uh, all things at Naughty Dog. But first of all, it is a, you know, it's a big month actually for Last of Us fans because uh, Last of Us 1 and 2 both launched in June and it's nearing its two year anniversary. <sighs> oh my fucking God, uh, is it really? Why would you, is, is hard Why to, would you hard do to this? Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, um, you know, nine is it even for different? Last of Us 1, two years for Last of Us Part 2 and we still hear from fans. They're still sending us letters and art and these characters in this journey and this world mean so much to them. Um, and it's, it's just been kind of amazing. Like last was part two early this year, passed a pretty big milestone and sold over 10 million. He really units. doesn't need a remake. And that kind of support, that kind of success. Um, oh, it so really does for fans. It has allowed us to grow as a studio and now we can take on multiple projects more than we've ever had at the same time. Do you want to know a hot take? Do you want to know a hot take, Ben? So, uh, you know what? Bloodborne what doesn't need a remake. Fans expect in the future it doesn't. It just needs Thank to be ported to PC. It just needs a port to PC! Some people have said, oh, it'd be nice to remake Bloodborne. Like, no, it wouldn't. Bloodborne's fucking perfect as is. Don't touch that shit. We've ever done before yeah. Naughty Dog. And we felt the way to do it justice is make Jack and Daxter and again. Oh, that's years, ambition has grown, and we're not quite ready to fully that's unveil it. But we're ready to lift the curtain a little bit and just give you like an update of where we're at. Do okay, it. Well, uh, what can you tell us about this new standalone multiplayer game? <laughs> yeah, so uh, we have a concept art that we want to show. Yeah. Um, uh, but what, what I oh, can't tell Oh, standalone multiplayer oh, game. Is that this game is big. Okay. Um, it's as big as any of our single player games that we've done and in some ways bigger. Wasn't it's there a multiplayer? It just like, looks like, the, the, it, yeah, it just looks like the multiplayer from The Last of Us. Uh, yeah. Character that takes place at another place. There uh, wasn't a multiplayer in The Last of Us like too, no. by the way. No. So is this like their version of it? Um, it looks Last of Us. It's really cool. And it's being headed by Vinith Uggerwall, Anthony Newman, and Joe Padnatti. All veterans of Uncharted and Last of Us. <laughs> You're gonna see a lot more of this game come next year. Next cool. year, so we're next now year actually we're making multiplayer okay. for Last well, of Us too. Sorry, it took uh, so long. This has evolved, and I yeah. mean, that concept art looks incredible. I can't wait to see Naughty Dog storytelling fused with multiplayer live game. Uh, it's it's something special. I, we can't wait to show it either. Mm -hmm. Okay, make well, free on that. That's not all. <laughs> How are they gonna we handle? How is Naughty Dog gonna handle a multiplayer game, which is standalone? Last of Us show for HBO, right? Be careful yeah. with them practices. Oh, wow. Are we going to see the show? Uh, you know, we've teamed up with Craig Mazin of Chernobyl fame and HBO to adapt The Last of Us into a TV uh, TV show. Yes. Um, oh, God. Uh, filming and, the Last of Us uh, was a great game. It's 
pretty incredible. The stuff but I'm getting back when we're looking at back. I'm just not feeling all the extra stuff for it, man. Mate, I want to so see what the TV the show looks like, so though. High. It's so authentic <sighs> to what we've made in the game. Um, Is it just a retelling? And, uh, <laughs> I, I just can't, I couldn't be proud of, like, again. But Craig, you're already you know, doing the retelling by remastering there. one. Uh, and or actually, remaking Zori 1. Is tomorrow. So we're, How are they actually doing that? Filming is tomorrow. Last day of yeah. filming is tomorrow. Craig is up there right now, kind of wrapping it all up. Uh, so it's it's pretty close. It's closer than you might think. And they just admitted you actually it with got the to rumors. direct one of the episodes? Yes, uh, I think that really speaks to the kind of collaboration and trust that exists between Naughty Dog and HBO that they invited me to direct one of PlayStation the Productions. Um, I think we have an image Damn. for the episode that actually directed it. <laughs> wow, that's, that's a fucking title for a company. Uh, so you can see, uh, this is a certain museum yeah, that players might know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, there's my boy, really though. Have to talk about Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey and... Pedro Pascal is a fucking legend. All the other episodes. He might be really good in it. No, he's good in everything. Watching the nuance that they bring to these characters, their relationship on and off camera. It could be a good TV show, I'm not gonna lie. It could be a good TV it felt show. so similar to the chemistry those two actors oh. had when we made the game. Um, Pedro Pascal really is in it. That like means I'm probably gonna, gonna watch it. Something special. And I, I will Just say to see this it, will be the it. most authentic video game adaptation yet. It could be well, the I next mean, Walking Dead. Look, I really like Pedro Pascal, like video okay? Video that I've seen, both public and other stuff, makes it feel sort of... Super legitimate, you said, and that's awesome to see uh, Joel and Ellie from from the front side now for the first like, time. Like I didn't even um, know so he was Mando. That's coming as well, right? Serious? Uh, you'll hear about it very soon. That's, that's okay. All, right. That may have been a spoiler. All right. Well, Head of Al, please, Ben. Very, very exciting. <laughs> okay. uh, and Cheers. I hear you actually have a couple actors from the show who are uh, going to join we us. We happen to have a couple actors here that are part of the show. We should bring them up. Okay, come on up. Oh, the sad acoustic guitar. There it is. Oh, what's up, guys? Oh, hello. oh there's Troy. Surprise. Troy's back we have a couple again. of actors oh, from the show. I'm uh, the voice uh, actor, I'm a though. Confused, though. I, I thought maybe Pedro Bella, but Troy Ashley out here. But I'm uh, not. From the game, what? right? So, uh, Troy's when in the game, Craig and I started working on the show, what? one of our very first meetings, we said, Troy and Ashley have to be a part of it. Um, oh. And we're such fans of, like, the talent. Of course. And the, like, of course, Troy has to be a part of the game. He's um, a storyteller, like of course. I mean, I'm for sure he's a storyteller. Sorry, I'm trying to listen to what I say. Kind of like a wink to the camera and like a cameo. Okay. These are real roles that we're keeping on the wraps for now. Uh huh. Uh, but man, I was I'm bummed that I couldn't be there with you guys when you filmed your stuff. That, there's been so much it's, stuff it's I so, feel like so good <laughs> on the internet. There's so much like talk about what's being filmed, and I think that's you guys have kept a complete secret that you so you were up there and you you filmed your roles by now, obviously. Uh, well, keeping yeah. secrets yeah. with this franchise is kind of old hat. Like we've except had for today. Yeah. Yeah. except for today, yeah. <laughs> except for the day. Uh, it was it was one of the hardest things for us to do is to let not let people know. I love that Troy gets so killed by his own character. We did we huh. hard. The the crew. I have to say. Um, when I walked out on set, um, to be met with literally every person that I met on that crew that would be quite funny. Uh, is such a fan of this game, and they all knew what it was that they were working on and committed to working on this project because of their. Honestly, I am interested in the TV show. The, for the game. Yeah, TV uh, show. Probably because it's to do with The Last of Us like, 1. Mm -hmm. The remake, yeah, I, 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 the I think, is the most pointless remake in the world. The crew was amazing. Yeah. Bella and Pedro if, it, if, are, if they actually... I think it is real, because they I, faked it. They're so perfect. You just and said it, that. It, they we, said it was real. Yeah, they they announced. They said the rumors are true, though, didn't they? So. I obviously oh, didn't hear it. I think they just acknowledged that the like, leaks, blah, blah, yeah. blah, blah, it's whatever the It's like the characters coming to life, but it it it's so much more than that. I feel like I can't fully explain it, but I am... So excited to be a part of it. Yeah, because the leaks literally just, just said that there's going to be a trailer. It. I think it is going to be. Yeah. So it is real. So good. It's it's. So I love the story. I love no, just I, being I'm, a part of. I'm the so world. excited about the series and the fact that you guys are going to be in it and undisclosed roles. I'm so fascinated how it's going to sort of bob and weave and and you know, are these characters we know from the game that they're playing new characters? Can you tell us anything? <laughs> yes. Mm. <laughs> I can tell you. So sneaky. All right. Well, we're so excited. To Maybe it's already on Twitter by now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, probably is. Let's talk about what was on Twitter earlier uh, today. Lots tweets. to talk about uh, the idea. Sorry. But really, what's happening is it looks like you guys are remaking the original game, and this is like a ground-up remake. Is that right? <sighs> That's right. Uh, what, we is wanted to give people what is the, the point? What is the point? The definitive version of the, the first game that wasn't encumbered by any technology. I uh, wanted to find a way to get even closer to our original vision. Uh, and we're able to do it on the PS5 
What? NPC and the fact that we'll talk about it, let's look at they it. they're oh, remaking the game, the game that is fine. That honestly, it doesn't even feel old to me. It's not. It's, it's ten not years old. That ten, ten years is not old to me. I'm sorry. Oh it's my not. god! It looks exactly the same. What am I looking at? Isn't this how it looked in the original? I reckon it's got something to do with I mean, obviously, yeah, the graphics are better, but like the graphics were already so good in the PS3 version. It, I, it, it literally looks exactly the same. Aren't those the same cutscenes? You know, I've never been this close. It's the outside. Oh, is that everything you hoped for? It, it can't doesn't. Be out there. Look. Like, it looks better, but it doesn't look, you know Thing what I mean? Like, is, right? When you think of games what? like Demon Souls. And yeah. But a remake for that sort of makes sense because Demon Souls in this world, was exactly the most thing. cleaner games. Get yeah. Killed. I heard it was janking a lot of places, so it, yeah, remake. How many close calls have we had? I'm, I'm looking it. at this, and I'm just like, this looks like, yeah, it looks better, but this just looks like I'm watching a higher definition of a PS3 game. It just feels too early for a remake of Last of Us, because yeah, Last of Us was already, like, massively good in both graphics and gameplay. Yeah, I don't, I don't see, I don't, it doesn't need to, like, oh, well, it's coming to PC. Truly one of my favorite games of the past decade. Guys, wh what's your reaction to that? <laughs> yeah, we uh, hadn't seen that yet. Yeah, you're watching it in real time. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it looks more like a remaster than a remake. It's not a remake, it's a remaster. It's a remaster. Yeah. It's no, even though they said they probably did make it from the ground up. The but. We could take the original uh, animation that we did for the faces and kind of like retarget it on these new rigs that have a lot more fidelity. <laughs> and then the animators went back and- <laughs> So like, it's, side it's fine. It, it, it really doesn't when need a remaster. Models, Look at the difference. It's not really like- It's uh, honestly it, not even that substantial to me. It's not. Um, it's facial the, the expressions. Thing about these faces is that, um, You're showing us facial expressions. Where's the gameplay difference? Yeah, they really do make a re need to make a remake for this. Then we could have achieved it wasn't needed. A bit, bit um, much. Yeah, yeah like, like... We could talk about, like, this brand new AI not, not for a game like Last like, of Us 1. It just doesn't feel right. Um, I'm just, sure it'll still be uh, great, because Last of Us 1 is great. It's legitimately a really good game. Yeah. Knowing because of the show... Because this yeah, I mean, sure, whatever. You know, if if that's what they want to do, that's what they want to do. It's it's the big money maker. Made Jack four. I actually oh, played it again. Jack and Dexter would have been like a mind blowing remake. <laughs> remake Jack from the ground up. Oh my god, that would be amazing. Honestly, even Uncharted uh, yeah, one would have been a pretty good call for a remake. Uh, I know. When you really think about it, Uncharted One would have been a like, actually pretty hard to for an Uncharted One remake. Yeah, I, can't, I, mean, yeah. I would take that over this. For sure. It feels weird because Naughty Dog have been working on The Last of Us for so long now, and now they're still working on The Last of Us. They've gone backwards. It's a bit weird. I don't know. I want them to do something different. You know? It feels like an odd choice. Yeah, compared to like. I, I want them. To to just, just to give a quick stop and do a different yeah. franchise. Yeah. I have to listen to all this again because I've, we're talking too much. Because uh, yeah. we just can't help ourselves. But yeah. The coming weeks leading up to the release of September second on PS5. All right. And well, shortly thereafter on PC. We will look forward to it. You, Neil, you've talked a lot about games directed by other people. What, what are you directing? Are you still making games? Still making games. Okay. Uh, I haven't mm -hmm. given up my, my day job. Uh, it's a little early to talk about. It. Maybe if someone in PlayStation wants to leak it, then we can yeah. talk about it now. Wow. Uh, otherwise, shots uh, fired. We'll but you do have a new project. I want to see you leaks do project, suck. Uh, but we'll save it for another summer game fest. They like it sucks for the people okay. who are making well, the we'll games we'll who want to it. keep <laughs> it a surprise. Oh, I'm so glad <laughs> they actually got something else other than the Last of Us in the pipeline. Okay, that's good. In September. So thanks, guys. Appreciate awesome. it. Thanks, Jeff. Awesome. Oh, yeah, fuck leaks. Leaks All right, suck. well, that is going to yeah. do it. Thanks to Naughty Dog and PlayStation for that very special uh, look at The Last of Us and the that entire it? franchise and where oh. things are going. Um, very, very excited about that. That right, was the big showstopper. It got days. leaked. Coming up right now on this oh, very poor stream, Jeff. Day of the Dead with I Am 8-Bit and Double Fine, including an exclusive new oh. look at the yeah, planet leaks of Atlanta. Up. And
then the Devolver Digital Show. It came out Tomorrow, so close to Netflix Geeked Week, which I'll be co-hosting, oh, and the Tribeca sad. Game Showcase streaming. Along that was with his Epic big show stopper. And then finally Sunday, it's the Xbox. Poor Jeff. The Game yeah, I do showcase. feel bad for the creators. All at SummerGameFest.com. Yeah. As for me, I'll see you again in August when we are back live in Cologne, Germany for Gamescom opening night live on August 23rd. And then the Game Awards will return in December live from the Microsoft Theater in Los Angeles. Oh, I like Finally, I'm excited to share that Summer Game Fest will return in June 2023 as a digital and in-person event to bring the gaming community together. Thanks for being a part of Summer Game Fest. And remember, there are more events and announcements <sighs> to come. We'll see you soon. It was... It was alright. He did say temp your expectations. Yeah. It wasn't Honestly, like mine, yeah. Oh my god, still something didn't show! No! Oh my god, you get fucked! <laughs> it didn't even show! It didn't show! It didn't actually show! <laughs> Looks like you're downing, mate. Oh my god, I just is realized! That Tim is that Tim Schaefer? <laughs> I don't know why I'm playing this still. It's because Tim Schaefer, I love Tim Schaefer. Yeah, I like Tim Schafer. Psychonauts and fucking Brutal Legend. To make a Brutal Legend 2, that would be fucking amazing. Oh, man. All right, no, so, that's it. That's so it. then, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, looks like you were absolutely fucking wrong about Silk Song. Oh, mate, what was the game then? Never mind. Did not you got debated by the creator himself. May! At the push of a button, he was like, ha ha, you fought. Fuck! People right, get full. Fine. Nice brutal legend down. shirt. I'll take the down. Oh. I'll take the down. Next time. So that was alright. Yeah, that was okay. I oh, like you turn it, off the. Uh, I like the, how the, it. Yeah. I like how it started off with the gun shooting McPow Power games, and then the abundance of space games. It was literally <laughs> space games first, and it was space first. Yeah, and then it started showing more of the other stuff uh, that looked pretty interesting, like. There was that yeah. weird medieval game with a gun. Yeah. Which is pretty decent. Uh, they showed some stuff from that weird Marvel game. Uh, the Midnight Suns game. Uh, yeah. Gotham Knights had a nice little sneak peek at Nightwing. So that was pretty good. Uh, yeah, Last of Us remake. Uh, yeah. I, like, like you said, like, yeah, okay, they even said something about the AI being more better and stuff, and, I, and that's cool, but it just feels unnecessary and just the sense of, like, I feel like that game was fine, it didn't need to be remade. Yeah, yeah it's a bit of a weird you know? One. Like, if we were on the PlayStation 6 or whatever, then I could maybe get it, because it would be, like, what, a 20-year gap? God, fine. How does it even get better than the PS5 in terms of graphics? I don't think graphics would be like graphic fidelity that, is already yeah. looking pretty good on the PS5 at the moment. Next yeah, gen I know. Consoles. I don't. I don't know. We always say this about graphics, and then somehow they find a way. Yeah. <laughs> Ray yeah, it, it, it's weird because Last of Us feels like a too too good looking of a game already to to remake. Does that make Does that make any sense? Yeah, because it did get a remake remaster on the PS4 as well. Don't forget that. Yeah, it got yeah. remastered on the PS4. That's, that's the thing. It feels like a remaster than a remake. Another remaster of the a remaster, basically. It's a remaster, it's a, remaster. Yeah, it's a remaster, remaster. Pretty much. Um, it didn't even look that like it was different. Like all the mm -hmm. cutscenes looked exactly the same. Like yeah, it didn't. It wasn't even taking the uh, the Final Fantasy VII remake approach where they like change stuff. It's not mm -hmm. even changing stuff. It didn't seem like it was from what I saw there. No. Nah. Like that looked like it was all pretty much the same nah. so Sarah had a good one yeah I assume yeah they had the Warframe DLC drop uh yeah anime fans are eating really well with One Piece and Hong Kong Impact and yeah. the other action game which looks straight out of Metal Gear Rising which is <laughs> yeah. uh, a very big compliment by the way ZZZ I think it's called yeah yeah Modern and... Warfare 2 is a thing uh, yeah the, the quarry uh, looks pretty good actually uh, Quarry does look actually pretty good. Quarry I, looks really I awesome. I would be up for playing that. Cause, yeah, me too. Because yeah, I, I, mean, I actually miss Until Dawn. That was like really fun game. Yeah. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, and it's more, it's more ammo for uh, fan dubs, uh, Snap Cube to make. Yeah. Fun stuff of, with. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, more, more fan dubs. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, more. Um, Neon White looks cool. I Neon White looks that. cool. Yeah, a lot of games are coming out in a week. Uh, the oh, Teenage Mutant yeah. Ninja Turtles. That's, that's good. Out in a week. Game will beat him up. For, um, yeah. Oh, that fucking uh, music game looks amazing. I'm actually on Steam right now to download the demo. Oh, uh, Metal he- Metal Rising is it called? Yeah, in fact, I'm, I'm actually actually no, I'm my, I need more stuff on my PS5. Maybe I'll Ooh. get my Maybe you check it out on your PlayStation 5. Yeah, yeah. I think I will. That, like, my console deserves some attention. Yeah. Got, <laughs> Besides just Elden any... Ring. Besides the Elden Ring, yeah. Yeah. I'm uh, sure, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I, I feel like there was, a, there was a lot of good there as well as a lot of meh. Yeah, there, there, there was interesting concepts. Like, I mean, the Dead Space game looks cool. Yeah, it was losing me a little bit at the beginning because it was showing nothing but a guy with a gun in a space station a lot of the time. Yeah. But, yeah, the Dead Space game looks pretty cool. Uh, Calypso Project. Um, uh, I suddenly want an energy drink all of a sudden. I, can't, <laughs> I, I don't know why. That's going to be a meme, isn't it? Um, oh, it's probably a meme already. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, it, it was alright. Uh, it was it was a solid. F- uh, I'd say if I had to grade it, I'd say it's like a solid like six. Yeah, six, seven. Yeah. Uh, Soul Hackers is in fucking English. Yes, yeah, that's, that's a big one. That awesome. is cool. That's massive that is for great. me. <laughs> uh, we don't know who the English cast is. Have they announced them yet? Yeah, they, they were talking in English in that 30 second teaser trailer. That is my Summer Game Fest sorted. I'm good. Yeah. I I eat well. That game's coming <laughs> out soon, isn't it? So, uh, it's coming out very soon. It's coming out in August, I think. May. Oh, God. Xenoblade's like round the corner as well. Nice. Big RPGs. Oh. I still haven't played <laughs> SMT5 yet either. My backlog's been too crazy. Mate, it's, it's, it's so many. There's so much. So I'm much glad stuff. Atlas is kind of back with the Shimagai Tensei stuff. I'm glad it's just not Persona. <laughs> yeah, it's not just Persona because uh, honestly, Persona's been milked dry and the fans are feeling probably very dry because they ain't been fed anything recently. <laughs> Even though they've had a lot of Persona. Even though you've had <laughs> loads of Persona. Yeah. How much is too much? You've been fed so much that now but it's not it enough. Seems but... like they wanna, it seems like they want to turn Soul Hackers into like its own series. Yeah, because they've they've uh, got rid of SMT in the name. Yeah, they've got rid of the name. Like, it's weird, weird when they do that. But that means you know. they they're serious. They want it to be its own thing. They want well, it to be like the real reason was that it was too much of a mouthful. And I'm think- <laughs> it is a bit of a mouthful. And I'm though, thinking it? it's too much of a mouthful, but just like put it on the side somewhere. It doesn't have to. Yeah, just to- slap like the SMT like on the side. You Soul know, hackers. Like- yeah. Let some tea. Yes. Logo. The fuck? Shin Megami Tensei Soul Hackers. Too. That is quite a, a lot. Oh, it's nothing but. compared to other entries in the series. I love how we're not even talking about the main releases of Summer Game Fest anymore. Um. Yeah. Sorry. Uh. Other <laughs> other things that happened on Summer Games Fest. Uh. It's a shame we didn't get any gameplay of the Midnight Sun stuff because they just showed a cinematic. And yeah. Yeah, so. the cinematic gameplay I got from Nightstar, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I mean that was even kind if of it like... only was just from Nightwing, but yeah, you know, it was a bit of a nothing, a bit no short. Silk but songs yeah, down in. few new IPs that look interesting. They're all set in space. Who would have thought? <laughs> they are literally all set in space. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. That's... Space Game Fest. Was the spe- I'm gonna call it that now. <laughs> I'm straight up calling it. Space That's the title of the video. Space yeah. Game Fest. Yeah. Don't blame you. Um, but uh, nothing like really like sh- other than obviously uh, like the announcement of like there was like it was good announcements, but it wasn't like oh my god like ah like nothing, it was good. Like, but not great. I did think Dead Island <laughs> got announced again. Oh yeah, again. Ghost no. Simulator for you. No, but I'm not the only one, man. I just found a tweet on Twitter saying, "Oh my god, I got plant f- trolled so hard with Dead yeah. Island." Yeah, I love there was a big old D on his headphones as well. That's what made me think. Oh, you might be right. <sighs> I just nah. it was exactly the same like in the way it started with the guy jogging. That was how Dead Island Two trailer started. So they did that on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> oh, those sly bastards! Okay, mate, it's been two hours. Yeah. I think that's gonna All be right. it. Yeah, um, yeah. So I can do English. Woo! If you wanna, if you wanna follow us on Discord, we do have a Discord and a Discord, Twitter, and exact. yeah, all the links are down below. 
Anyways, guys. Atlas cares about SMT. That's all I that need is, to know that's from a this. Big, that's the big takeaway from this. <laughs> we'll see you next Take time. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.